Dude, when you push yourself, when you set your goals, right? Yeah, I quit. You got to remember. No, man, <laughs> you can't. That, see, that, and the problem is you don't have energy. See how your energy I, is right now? My energy's so low, dude. I know. And I'm you know a little why? hungover, a little gay. Yeah, because you're not optimized. As Mark Norman would but say. But bro, you're, but Mark, Mark's optimized. And I'm not, dude. You need to get, you need to I need to a new optimize. mood. I need to look at oh, the world. You want a new mood? I, I got a new mood. mood. I got melatonin spray so you sleep better. I got alpha brain so you think better and you focus and your memory's better. I got stuff that supports your vitality. They also like got that big krill. brown almond milk latte MCT oil squirt it directly in your mouth or what? your butthole. I didn't know that. Yeah, dude. You're recommending it for your bunghole too? You never know. The bottom, line is, the bottom line is, this is the thing about on it. It is the best supplement it's line the only money supplement. can buy. Name another supplement line. Go. Name one that's sticking around these days. It's what I always they say. They all suck. It's what I say. All Not these, on it. these supplement companies Come and go. promise a whole bunch of stuff, but I'll tell you what the one promise on it, two things. On it, the owners take their products every day. Look at me. Be asking what I'm doing. Sponsors chugga, chugga, take. Chugga, 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 what is chugga. that? This is a train that don't stop. And you need, and you need on to feed train. that train. Yeah, I'm fuel. Your body's a machine. It needs the kind of fuel that keeps it on going. Onit.com slash fighter. 10% off the whole damn website. Onit.com slash fighter. Support and vitality and performance. They got it all for you. Onit.com slash fighter. Brennan, talk to me about whoop. You want me to whoop it up? Look, I want to know. here's the thing, bro. Yesterday yeah. went on a hike. Yeah. I'm using this app on my phone. It tells me like the, the the how far I'm going. Right, it says yeah. six mile hike. Yeah, I throw on that whoop. I throw on that whoop de whoop. Wait, whoop wait, whoop. So, so because a lot I of throw times, on that whoop. Yeah, and it was actually seven and a half miles. So it's in a lot of ways the most accurate wristband. Hold on, it's the only wristband you should have rocking because it monitors your heart rate twenty four seven over a hundred times a second. So you well, know the technology is better than oh, a lot way of these other ones. Way better. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Also, if you're working out like crazy, you know what's more important than your workouts? Recovery. Yeah. Your recovery is so damn important. How hard do you strain it? They're gonna tell you. They let me know exactly on my hikes, when I'm working out at home, and it teaches you how, how, how does it, it teach you actually that you're getting like REM sleep, your sleep, deep sleep, your light sleep. sleep so it it calculates that? all that to the highest level. Whoop provides insights that others just don't. Not wow. this level. Not at this precise level, So you can man. tell if you have sleep apnea, if you're waking up all the time, your heart rate's Everything. Gonna, maybe wow. not feeling well. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't do that seven-mile hike today because you're not fully recovered. Damn. Maybe you didn't get the sleep you thought. Maybe save it for the next day. Yeah. When your whoop tells you, you're ready to go, dude. That's a huge part of not getting oh, it's, sick. It's, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a game changer. It's a life changer. The battery lasts forever. Five days. They get their new 3.0 strap. You guys get $30 off. That's right. You get $30 off. Go to whoop.com. That's W-H-O-O-P.com. Use the code FIGHTER at checkout to save $30 and optimize the way you train. Fighter for $30, fighter for $30 off Whoop membership. Mm. Get you some. Hey, hey, the great, Gillis. The, the great. <laughs> what, did he, what did he say? Well, that's an Asian joke. <laughs> what did he Shane say? Gillis? Hey, Shane Gillis. <laughs> He's the guy who got fired for making yeah. the, the chink joke. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That was, Shane, that was Gillis. Shane Gillis. Is he your boy? <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. Good. Well, good obviously comic. not. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not anymore. No, no. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah, people got, people, uh, a lot of Asians it reached out to me, and I don't know about you, but oh, yeah. kind of defending him, and they're like, hey, fuck face. You know, I've been dealing with this shit. You know, they, they were very sensitive. Some well, people they, were like, they, Their main thing, they go, replace what he said about Chinese, yeah. uh, about black people using right. the N-word. Yeah. Would you still defend them? I went, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not, you know, I get it. There's consequences and whatever, and SNL can do whatever the hell they want, but it's like, I don't know, he's trying to be funny. Yeah. Even if it wasn't, he's he's not, it's in the comedy category. And it was, then it was a clumsy miss. It was a bad miss, but everybody goes, can you believe that? And then they find shit on them and you go, what about this 10 years ago? And you said this tranny joke or whatever. And they go, well, that that was a different time. I've evolved. And like, well, let him evolve. Let you know? him evolve. And when you typed it, were you full of hate? No. Well, maybe he isn't either then. Right. Like, did you see the guy? I don't think he is full of hate. No, of course, he's not full of, of course. hate. Of course. Did you see the guy who, I think, Anizer Bush or something, he's like the bear guy, has like a million followers. Have you seen this? No. The mm -hmm. cancel culture. So he did some tweet like years ago. So first of all, this guy made his career off being like this bear guy, and he would take the proceeds, and he donated a million dollars, like over a million dollars to a hospital. So he's a good dude. Wow. I don't know exactly why he got fired from, but they dropped him, and the 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 publishing company, the, the outlet that published him saying all these bad things, 
the guy who did it, they went, well, let's see what you did. And I guess he has of course. bad tweets. So of then they're thinking about dude. firing him. We all it's say, like, well, how deep do you want to go? We, yeah, all, yeah. We, we all say or think yeah, that he would get us fired right. 10 times. Man who had beer, uh, let me see, Chin, scroll up. Melted Delta. It. Hey, Cyclone Nation, I just wanted everyone to know I'm listening to Cyclone uh, Facebook from New York City. We, sh- we are set over 87,000. Yeah, that's him like. Uh, that's the first tweet? But that's not what got him in trouble, is it? I don't know. He got fired for something. And if you're going to post all his the high school shit, years, tweets from his high from school his years. Hi, from his oh, wow. high school. Come on. Wow. High school. That I was God, I boy, blackface every wow. day. <laughs> blackface is what we did. <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, I was I was gonna I was gonna start with uh, half and ask have Callan ask me how I'm doing. Go a little hungover, a little gay. Oh yeah, that dude who said that he did. He did. I was uh, w- it was that in uh, is that Portland? Cleveland. Oh, that's Cleveland. Right. Oh, Cleveland. Yeah. That's right. A little hungover. Cleveland. Because okay. I, obviously I knew who you were as a, a comic, and then I was getting ready to do uh, press, and um, I always like to look into it, and like, oh, you got look up uh, Mark Norm. Look, look it up. Look it up. I'm like what? I'm like yeah, look it up. So I look it up, and dude. Have you? I, I showed oh, you I that. It. It's oh, fucking, thanks, guys. That poor girl. I, that she, poor girl. She rolled with it. She was a pro. I was really impressed. But yeah. it's one of the things we do four of those in a day. It's you're 8 a.m. You're hungover. You oh. hate yourself. You're gay. And you're just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to be myself. Fuck it. I can't keep it in anymore. I can't do the shuck and jive. And that's the funny stuff. And the weird thing is I've done a million of those. But for some reason, that one just got put on YouTube. Well, but I, th- I think so much of this is just you were just being honest with how you felt. Yeah. And all of this shit, it, that ultimately is going to win. We laugh when you're honest. What's right. Right. Well, it basically. doesn't work when you're like beautiful town, and I'm just here. Yeah, and it's good. yeah. You know, that's not selling any tickets. Exactly. Uh, right. And rather, this thing about comedy, I fucking that, that is, it's the last place where all of us misfits can get together and fucking just speak our minds. Yeah. And because I, I swear to God, I'm starting to hang out at the comedy store. I've been doing a lot of sets lately, and it reminds me of all. I'm, I'm getting to know some of the younger comics. They're all fucking misfits. Of course, I, they, they, and they're all they're all awesome, and they're also their own worst enemy. In with well, Brennan and I had this idea. We <laughs> we want, we were, we're trying to get uh, companies to give us an idea for, that they want a marketing idea, and then Brennan and I are going to put comics together, sit around a round table to come up with great ways to sell their product. Yeah, come up with funny ways to do it. Like young so, hungry comics, we'd have the idea. <laughs> so Brennan, pay them. Yeah, okay, and we had real money for them. And so Brennan and I said, let's do a contest. We'll just like pair off. We go, hey guys, here's the idea. Just come up with a one minute video. And I reached out to like ten comics. Not fucking no, one. No, one, one, <laughs> one sent a video. Oh, yeah. And it was Nochi. so bad. It's out him. Hey, Lenochi. <laughs> oh, why are you doing this to him? Because I love him. I love Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike's funny as shit, but Mike Lenochi is fucking, is the only guy who submits something. Little effort, was, bud. And I was like, hey, yeah. dude. Hey, Mike. And Mike's funny. Mike's a good comic. I was like, hey, Mike, this sucks. A little effort, yeah. bud. Fucking, what are you doing? I got money for you. Everybody else blew it off. At least Mike showed up. Everybody I else. Wow. And they're just, they're just, and I, I talked to Rogan about it, and he was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, comics are complete misfits. We're, They're supposed to be. We're g- garbage human. I mean, look at Norm MacDonald, one of the funniest guys on the planet. He can't drive, and he's a gambling <laughs> wacko. Exactly. You know, yeah. he's lost all his money. I feel bad for his kid. <laughs> exactly. So it, 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 it almost is a weird, it, this, this this weird dysfunction yeah. is is goes part and parcel almost across the board. Well, have Completely. you heard what the people have been um, saying? You know, he's been in L.A. for a few days around the comedy store and improv. Have you heard what they said? No. He's the new Callan. Well, oh, what? what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> Said you're, you're kind of out. Because you're getting older. What? I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> Mark, step up for me. You saw me destroy last night, or maybe you didn't. I missed it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'll, tell you who I, I'll tell you who I met. Speaking of beautiful misfits, um, Sam Tripoli says, I want you to meet my friend Jennifer. And I said, hi, Jennifer. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Tall in, skank? In a nice... <laughs> no. The tall, that tall one was a uh, real piece. <laughs> no, not not tall. This this is... Uh, this was... Uh, Were you the tall skank? <laughs> I, I, I want to use this now. I saw you walking with a real tree. <laughs> oh, no. Two trees. Those oh. Are, yeah, they're not skanks. So those girls are... One girl's a pro athlete. Oh, I don't yeah. mean skank in a bad no, way. That's, no, that's, that's just like saying. how I say bitch. Oh, yeah, no. oh, yeah. Some hot gash. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some good trim. Some nice skirts. Yeah, real dame. <laughs> yeah, Honey pot. <laughs> hatchet wound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah love hole uh i'm running low on snatch. No, it's okay. buckle bunnies thank you lot lizards beard yeah. and clam what yeah 
Yeah, oh, mud flaps. There, <laughs> there we go. That's it, though, Mark. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah no, the, I, I don't know who you're referring to, but I, I do remember the very, very tall woman. Brunette. Too, too, and very pretty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, friend well, of mine. Well, what about I, I this Jennifer? You know, but but so I meet I I'm I'm I get off stage and I'm coming back and he says I want you to meet you know my friend, and her name is Jennifer Lopez. Nope. And I <laughs> and I went and she was in a beautiful kind of like just a classy dress and she was gug gu- gorgeous, and I was like there's something about her too that's just kind of like magnetic and okay how are you and please tell me she's a tranny. Her name was Jennifer White. <laughs> I guess Sam Tripley's favorite porn star. Whoa! Jen- yeah. Jennifer White. Yeah. Jennifer White. She's. I, I know porn. She's I've never heard something of. else. Really? I fancy myself and, a porno viewer. And they're with sure. her husband, ladies and gentlemen. And mm. and, a, and ah. a, she's with her husband. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh, I'm familiar with God, her. God, gorgeous. I've seen her work. Holy hell! I have not seen her work. I've, I've seen never, her work, and she's. I have not. She knows her way around a she, cock. Look at her. She is <laughs> oh, just hey, delicious. Look at that. Oh, look at the high heels. Just Jeez, quite a caboose. Yeah. Look at the fire in the kid, Mark. Oh, God. <laughs> Cool, yeah. and they're cool, like just funny, joking around. Well, they're like, like you'd us. never know. I was like, "How are you a porn star? You're so Ow. fucking." You know, I can't relax cool. around porn star because it's <laughs> no, too much either. sexual energy. Yeah, it's, right? it's, it's distracting. Like, but she's, she's, well, I just feel like, should we fuck now? Exactly. Or, like, why this is you, what you do? Why is my dick dry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Why is my dick dry? <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There you God, go. God, I love Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, dude. Yeah. It's like it's like if she hung out with you and you were lame. Like you're a comic, so right. I'm expecting you to be funny. Right? Yes. 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 I'm expecting to bust she, in the mouth. She turns it off. She's first of all, she's well, no, 30, she's 31, that. so oh, she's a little woman, oh, which I like oh, even more. Hold on, oh, which really gets me going. Over the hill. Take her out. No, that's what I like. She's 31, yeah. and also, so she, she, right, she's not working. She's there to watch a fucking comedy show and right. laughing her ass off with, I think, her husband and her friends. Also, sucks mm-hmm. so she's the boys. A, so she's a civilian. Right. She when you meet her, she's a civilian. She, you want to pay her a lot of money? A lot. Oh, look, go yeah. ahead. But get the fuck out of here, otherwise. She's not, right. This is that's what she does. It's almost like it's almost like a fighter going, man. This guy's a tough guy, but he was so nice to me. Well, yeah, he's not getting paid to be in right. a fucking he's not in the cage octagon. to take your head off. Exactly. But, oh, she's delicious. Very. You're going hard in the paint, huh? I like her. All, All right. I, I, hey, hey, hey. You had a ten. I need you a seven. Daddy doesn't. It's da- weird. Daddy doesn't watch porn. What? Yeah. You seem a little pent up. I never watch porn. Wow. I, and I haven't watched porn in many years. Are you a, a porn year. guy? Yeah, I like a good I, but I like, like but coffee I like her. for me. I do it every her. day and it's gotta be black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. How do you how do you do it? You what do you go? Imagination, like eighth grade style? Uh I, I I'm older. I just I don't know. Yeah, you I don't think even, back to I don't even, I don't even jerk off. Jack anymore. off in black and white. <laughs> I, I don't even jerk off anymore, really. I swear to God. What? I'm just old. You know what, dude? Get the fuck out, yeah, man. Yeah, Who are you talking to? Look how you're sitting. You're well, weird. I, <laughs> that's really <laughs> you I meant I meant Like he's better than us, yeah. you know? No, because my dad looked at my, my, my history about, it was probably six years ago, and he looked at my, I was traveling, I was at the house, and he looks at my fucking computer, and he goes, what is this? You, you, uh, he put in something, and he goes, what is this porn, porn, porn? Black.com I go, I go, oh, I watch porn. <laughs> Yeah, I think I was yeah, like this. He just like, shook his head like Jesus Christ. Well, are you single, Mark? No, I got a hot, hot uh, lady at home. Ooh. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Is and now do you do you announce <laughs> it out there on uh, on Instagram and stuff? Yeah, I, well, you I get, haven't seen anything. You get in trouble if you don't. Yeah, you know? I know. Uh, right? I don't care. Like I, to me, I just want to like plug gigs, and she's like, "You gotta show people," and I'm like, "All right, all it's right." So annoying. I just I don't I don't want to do social media. I just do it to get seats. You know. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to. It's brutal. It's brutal. I got some friends who don't do it, and they're so much happier. They're just like, but are they selling tickets? Selling tickets. Like Nate Bergazzi pays a lady to do all that shit. And he's Ooh, like, I don't want to do that. I'm like, well, oh. Nate's whole life changed with that special, of course, which is great. rare now. He's gonna come on the podcast. He's great, but, but like, there, there's a few guys who don't do social. I I I have cat run most of it my brother and then i'll, I'll definitely check in but it, it, it is it's so toxic man yeah yeah and, and and just the effort they get put into it wait so you're seeing his dms <laughs> holy <laughs> hell hopefully not all of them. yeah because i mean you're a hot hunk of meat there sir <laughs> all right oh oh shop shop gets... yeah look at the thigh alone could uh, uh, feed a family the ladies the ladies like <laughs> oh i'm aware they I'm reach aware. out to me and they go, <laughs> yeah hey, tell us about your your thicky <clears throat> they call him a thicky i was i was mm, sitting with these girls uh-huh. I was sitting with Two I was C's. sitting. This girl kept going. Three C's. He's a thicky, and he's, like, he's so cute and thick. They like wow. the thick. They like the thickness. Good hairline, thickness. good car, like great shoe. Yeah, and you're always trying to lose weight. Always Don't lose good. it. Just be big as you're, fuck. You're thick crust. 
<laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't want uh, <laughs> that. Might be guy. my new nickname. He's deep, he's, dude, that deep should be the name of dish. my. That should be my, the name of my new tour. Thick, thick crust. crust. Yeah, thick thick crust crust or deep dish. Uh, I just one. like thick crust. Thick crust. Three C's. You uh, how about this? How about Seinfeld said you're his favorite comedian. Oh, that make yeah. you feel weird? That's awesome. No, I was like shit myself. Because he he's like, I don't mean to interrupt you, but he's like so critical of comedy of and like, everything going on. He's and my like, hero or, or one yeah, of them. Who, I, I mean, mean, I watched him the show with my parents. You know, like yeah. it's crazy. He's such a big part of my like, comedy life. That sitcom and like Curb and his his uh, documentary comedian was huge. Yep. So like, That's just amazing. the idea that you could you could life can be long enough to meet him is insane. <laughs> when Have you guys happen? had any interaction? Yeah, we hung out that night for like an hour and a half, and like got a, we exchanged numbers. Now we text every now and then. Wow, it's insane. Just seeing that name, it's like a porn star or uh, like a supermodel. Like, oh, I'm like. <laughs> Spell checking and like, uh, let me delete that and rewrite. You know, send let me him make pictures, it funny. Selfies, yeah. like, what's yeah. up, bro? <laughs> right, right, exactly. Just send him video. Send it to your right. parents. Like, fuck you, dad. My parents don't care about anything. That's the one thing they they were like, oh, that's pretty good. Yes. we'll give you that one. That means you're doing something right. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. And also, I wonder, like, if he heard my whole act, because he saw me do a corporate gig, and I had to be clean, oh. and I killed, but if he saw my real act, I think he would shit blood, you know? It's just, <laughs> you know, school shootings, pedophilia, like, I like the dark stuff, you know? Yeah. Much like Cat. Where'd you grow up? <laughs> uh, Much like Cat. New Orleans. Much like Cat. Yeah, oh, she's a dirty bird. You, you get the vibe. But, um, yeah, New Orleans, Louisiana. Go Saints. Go Saints. Ah. Your Saints are kind of fucked. Ah, they're always fucked. That's Although we beat the Seahawks, which was shocking. It's true, man. But yeah, yeah. Got a fun place to grow up. It's uh, it's a weird place for a kid. I lost my virginity to a prostitute. You know, uh, you it's remind just me of Dove Davidoff. Oh yeah, you really do. Really, I like. He Dove. reminds me so much of a young. Interesting, Dove. huh? How yeah. do you fig? He's a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> He's a junkyard guy, right? Yes, he and is. And he was quite a, a swinger in his day, if yes, I might say yes, so. Yes, yes, he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was well a real documented. porch swing. Oh yeah, right. yeah. Was, yeah. I, I I've had some I've had some time. Oh, you Dove, you David did the row with him for a while. Dove yeah, you and, and I, Dove, close. Dove and I, Dove and I did it right. Wow, that's stand. quite a threesome, I would say. If you get a gal in the middle of that sandwich. And by the Ooh, way, he's working with I a feel piece. Bad for him. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's got a piece on him. Oh, that's Dove. intimidating. Dove, Dove, not for me, but I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> either way, either way, never forget who the who who Daddy is. I mean, at the end of the day, I was older, but that <laughs> doesn't right. matter. The bottom line is that Dove Dove Only is be one alpha. Dove is a special. Dude, and has the darkness, and has all the. It, you, you remind but me he, very is much. Is he of doing him. comedy? Is he's back in right? Yeah, he's in. He's in New York. You see him. Oh yeah, you oh, see yeah. him all the time. Right? All the time. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. hilarious. And he's got his own thing. He sounds very. No one sounds like Doug. Yeah, he's you like know? jazz man. Yes, he is jazz. He is. He's got a little jazz and There's special. There's a few needs. guys who are just so they're on oh. such a different frequency, like Dove, like Theo. Yeah, yep. which just yep. like. Oh, I'm never yes. gonna hear this anywhere else. Yes, yeah. Uh, Dove and Theo, Dove and is a good common, a, a good comparison too, because just so they're just, it's like a unique sound. It's like when the you edge plays copy guitar, them. right? You know, when the edge on right. YouTube plays guitar, you know it's the edge. Yeah. yeah, it's the same. Like some people have that fucking that yeah that that, that it's just a different music, frequency. That music. Yeah, yeah, it's just a different vibe. We haven't heard it before. And 100%. the weird thing about that is starting out with a different fruit like Jezelneck. You know, you really yeah. struggle starting out. Because people are like, "What is this shit?" But you, you know, yeah. give it a second, whore. It's gonna get into something. <laughs> you just gotta go with me. Trust me. You know, that's why I hate the industry. They can't see that. Then when they the person figures it out and they get good, the industry goes, "Oh, we love you. We we we'll always a big fan." Like, shut up. Right. Justinick is a monster. He's amazing. Ah, big fan. Big fan. Yeah, he's and the best. He's proof that you can say whatever you want, be dark as long as it's a bit. No one gives a fuck. God, he's amazing. he is dark too, man. Oh, he goes yeah. out there. Dead what was that joke you did? I've shit. never killed anyone. Then I remembered Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> he's just incredible, man. He really is. Yeah, my, he's like, can I buy a motorcycle? His mom's like, no, your brother died on a motorcycle, so don't buy it. You can just have his. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant jokes. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I, he's, he's almost that way backstage too. It's not like he's Anthony, friendlier backstage. He's friendlier, but he's not that warm. He's always standoffish. He's, he, always, he's actually really cool to me. He's and a nice guy. He no, was he really, is, he was but, really nice to me. And then um, I went, uh, or yeah, I went on first, and then um, then I brought him out, and then he just roast like we don't know each other that well, and roast the fuck out of me. I was like, he my did. feelings are so hurt. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, he can. And, think but that. I didn't. But this was probably two or three years ago, and I didn't realize what kind of comic he was. Yeah. And then I went, went in the back, I'm like, geez, man, fucking Jesselneck, and like, oh, that's what he does, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. His thing. 
I'm like, really? Like, yeah, of course that's his thing. Yeah, yeah. I got in trouble last night. I don't want to say her name, but there was a, lo- a large black woman went on, and I had to follow her. And I said, "Give it up for Ron Funches," you know. <laughs> and uh, the place went nuts, but she was she was not into it. And I was like, "Ah, I'm just I'm just trying to get a laugh out of the it game." Just happened. Yeah, it's nothing against you. I, I like you and Ron. <laughs> But I thought it was a perfect line. Oh, fucking hilarious. Yeah, and you can shit on me all day. You know, I get robot and, you know, weirdo, uh, autism. You know, go nuts. You're a fucking, nuts. You're a fucking breath of fresh air in this, in this politically correct, brain-dead Los Angeles environment. Well, I got to tell you, you guys are more free and fun than New York right now. Yeah, we're talking about before we oh, came is that in. True? I, oh, oh, what are you kidding? New Just York. your lineups. I go, we're gonna get in trouble. There's no uh, Asian on it, you know. And then uh, it's, uh, Santino's like, ah, relax. It's L.A. Is like, that oh, true, wow, man? Yeah, so New that. York, they're they're kind of imposing. Oh, it's quality. It, it's coming in hard. And like, look, I'm all about diversity, and I get it, and blah blah blah. But like, I'm not when it comes <laughs> to comedy. I'm not. Well, I mean, well, if they're maybe, funny, no, if they're no, funny. What I mean is. Are you funny enough to be in a lineup? Sure. Mm-hmm. And fuck are you selling you. tickets? Fuck you. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if you're black, white. I don't get. I don't Comedy either, was the one place that was so, so, didn't give a shit about whether you had a limp, whether you were blue, yeah. whether you were trans. I don't give a fuck what you are. If you're funny, if you think you can get into a lineup with the kind of comedy that's going on at the comedy store, then, then none of us care. Yeah, None of us no, care. I completely no, agree. We've never cared, actually, if you were gay, if you if you like having trannies spit in your mouth. I I mean, that's a we, little weird for me. But. Well, we I know comics who uh, we always it's it's the land of the misfits. Yeah, of course. And, and sorry about using the expression tran tranny. I guess transsexual. Right, right. Right. son of a bitch. But you know what I'm saying? It's like I totally know what you're saying. It's like the comedy was the one place where. It didn't matter if you had three dicks. It didn't right. matter what you were. Are you funny oh, enough? Huh? Three dicks was a great Neil Brennan uh, special. <laughs> it's a great but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it just sucks because uh, when I was, a, it's so pushed down your throat now that I can't relax. Like when I was a kid, I liked Ellen. I liked Paula Poundstone, but I wasn't like, I like these female comedians. No, me, but comedians. now you push it in me more that I go, oh, I like that Michelle Wolf. I'm a big fan because she's a woman and I love wow. women. And like, yeah. it's it's made me actually less progressive. It makes you reject it. it up my Yes. Pushing on me. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think of Whitney Cummings or Eliza Sessioner, who are friends of mine. I, I don't. When they're on the lineup, I'm not going. Oh, we got some women there. I'm just thinking this is going to be a great Killers. lineup because yeah. they're fucking. Yeah. They're exactly. funny shit. Yes. That's right. So stop for the more you force, the more we go. Hey, you push back. Yeah. If you just let it happen, it'll happen. None of us would give a fuck if a transsexual, <laughs> whoever, or somebody who identified as a a bird was what was in the lineup. If you are funny, right, we'll right. hang with you backstage. It's like UFC, no one's going. We got to get Silva in. He's a black guy. Yeah. yeah. No, he's just good. Can you punch somebody it. in the face? Yeah, yep. Exactly. It's all been, very simple. You've been doing comedy for how long? Mark? I'm at 12, 13 ish. So you're 35. So you started a little late, right? 22, 23. Not, I mean, not too it's late. Not too, not too bad. You, did, not you too didn't bad. start in like, did you want to do it in high school? No, I just had such low self esteem that it was like it was being in it was like Carlin Cosby. Like I was like I can never do that. I, so that's how I looked at it. And then one day I just got drunk enough and tried an open mic. And how old were you then? I was twenty two. And and where did you do the open mic at? It was in Lafayette, Louisiana, because I was so scared of someone seeing me in New Orleans that I drove three hours to do the five Jesus minute open Christ. mic. And I just had a bunch of uh, cocktails and went on. And it went pretty well. And then where'd you go from there? Then I said, I want to do this. I love it. And I moved to New York and uh, bombed for three years straight and got mugged three times in a year. Landlord died of AIDS. And I got bed bugs. All in one year. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. I probably should have closed on the AIDS. But uh, yeah, it was a hellish, hellish transition. You know, much like Jenner. But uh, <laughs> it was tough, man. But now I just kept at it, and I had nothing else to turn to. I had, you know, I was against the cliff. My back was against the wall, so I just kept going. How, how, so when you first got to New York, were you, you were just doing open mics, or were you? How yeah. Were you, then how? When, when did you start getting spots at like the uh, legit places? Four or five years in. I mean, it takes forever. I mean, you got a little bar show here and there, but nothing where you're like paying the rent. Nah, not when you're on. It takes so long to. Uh. Get. And oh, yeah. age time. But the one thing when we, you were telling me about this, B, too, because Brian started in New York, is you're able to do like eight sets, nine yeah. sets a night. I think it was Steve uh, Burn. Byrne did like 17 or some shit he like that. Like yeah, he did a documentary about it. But yeah. I remember I would do, I mean, when I was fucking in my 20s and yeah. my 30s, dude, I would do, one summer I was doing literally, I remember I would start at eight and I'd be done by one. See, exactly. I was, I was going to every fucking club. You would just 
just get it in. And yeah. Do I don't know. And then I do open mics or there'd be some fucking thing at the rebar, wherever it was, and you do you'd end up doing five or six. I feel like if I get yeah. four sets in LA, it's a, it's a great lot. night. But then it's when I think about you guys, I'm like, well, for LA, four's good. Four, oh, yeah. Four's a hustle. Four's good for any night. Uh, don't don't kid you. That's a good point. Four's a good four's a lot. Five five you start repeating yourself. It is a yeah. bullshit about you don't want to get too crazy about this shit, okay? We we were it, it, I did those sets because I had nothing else to do and I was just happy to do them and i had nothing else Hang in my out. life yeah. right same so much of also when you losers. talk about low self-esteem you talk about this it's it it, it just like it, it's so uh, new york city for me was always i i was this i always felt talk about low self-esteem i always felt like this guy who was a failure on the outside looking in what well, the time yes. kind of were though you you of know? course i was you're <laughs> slogging no, no i'm just saying like i was i, I was I'm slogging I'm, I'm in theater school i'm trying to be an actor i suck <laughs> yeah and, and yeah. i'm trying to do comedy i suck and i and i but finally i got up and i'd get up on i was doing stuff and i was like even after mad tv i couldn't get a job and i was wow just trying to be a fucking uh comic and an actor and it was the, the whole thing was just always impossible. So, it completely. And, and then right? what? Who, completely agree. who were like the comics that were, were in your class? You know, they say classes. Yeah. So I would get there, and it was like a Dan Soder was around. I and love like, Dan. Ah, uh, Dan's we're, a beast. We're from the same hometown. A Denver area. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then like uh, Joe List and Sam Marill and all these killers, and then like Michael Che came in, and you know uh, Michelle Wolf and people like that. And, but you know, I'd see Big J and be like, "Oh, I would kill to be Big J. Wow, what a career! Big you know, J what a life. Me. So funny." And then you, Mike Vecchione was a guy. We we're like, "Oh my God, I can never be that good." And there's all there's a, so many good guys in New York who can't get a break. They can't get a special. Some of them slip through. Like Soder's got HBO special coming out. Thank God. But uh, <laughs> there's a couple beasts out there that just can't like who like Vecchi own is like one of the funniest comics I've ever seen and his album got voted number one by whatever the hell and all this and it's so tight and so good such a great writer but just nobody he can't I don't think he's selling out or anything no. so it's tough it's a different but, but then there's guys like well because you've been doing it for a while now and I feel like not that you weren't big before but now it's like especially out here the scene out here everyone's talking about really you and Schultz Oh, like you, hey, got, wow. you, you are the guys where it's like, oh yeah, they're the next kind of in line. Over oh, there. yeah, that's nice to hear. Schultz is a <clears throat> that guy's a, a, a freight train of just like marketing and internet and like getting eyeballs and exposure. Like he does all the clips, and now everybody does the clips. You know, like, he he's what you get when you mix a great comedian with a business mind. Yes, it's which very, is rare. It's ri- Seinfeld would be one. Right, it's rare you get the guys who can do both. Yeah, Kreischer. Well, guys. the other thing is Kreischer. Everybody's yeah. learning from each other. Too. Yeah, which and, we should and, be doing. And a lot of people don't realize that. And you know, when I I was coming up, when Rogan was coming up, when Burr was coming up, all all us older guys. None of us, there was no money to be made in stand up. Yeah. There was no such thing as like theater acts, actually. There was very few. Yeah. But for the most Carlin part, everybody right. was doing, everybody, you did clubs. And oh, by the way, you did you did local press. There was no Facebook. There was no right. Twitter. There was no Instagram. Just different times. And, and certainly no one in other countries knew you. There were no, no. podcasts. It was kind so, of a street so rat was, lifestyle where you're just like under the radar and it was fine. You're in a basement well, and you're fine with it. So much so that it was a, it was such a grind that you were never going to make money. Yeah. You were never going to make money. If you made five grand in a weekend, Woo! that was crazy. So what you do is you do the you do the college circuit. So you yes. make like a grand. And <laughs> that was like big. But isn't that isn't that why a lot of comics back then couldn't wait to jump to TV? It was just a so way to get to TV. Yes. So, so, yes. so you had guys like Paul Reiser <clears throat> and even Seinfeld and these guys who once they got and Seinfeld was the exception. Mr. Cooper. Once they yep. got a, right, Arsenio Mark Hall. Curry. All these guys once they got Good TV. Times too. Once they got TV. You stopped doing Roseanne. stand. You stopped. I'll keep going. You stopped doing. Ray Romano, you're right. Yep. And Ray Romano, Letterman, all of them stopped Lano. doing stand up basically because they got a TV show. That was the holy grail, Kevin James. Yeah. You get you got the TV show and you were and the grind was over and I, and all of us felt that way. It'd be like all, all I need is a sitcom. Once yeah. I get this and I got a couple big sitcoms and you'd be like and I remember going, I might be able to just make a lot of money doing this right and not getting on a plane on Wednesday and coming home on Monday. Right. And I'm doing Sunday shows too. And you're making 1500 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not making yeah. any money. Do you, do you want to go uh, the TV route too? Nah, or? I can't act. And I just like doing stand-up. I like writing new jokes. I like the whole, I like the road. I like clubs. 
and maybe I'll grow out of that. I'm still, you know, mid thirties here, and I like to drink and fuck around. But uh, I like this, you know. <laughs> What's this? I just like to, I like to get <laughs> after it. You know, um, what are you fucking Yosemite yeah. Sam? Yeah. <laughs> he's he's such a comic. He's such Him? a degenerate. Oh. Yeah, I like being a degenerate. I don't I don't care for this uh, clean cut. You know, wh what's that guy? Um, fucking it's like Sebastian. He's got like a wife and kid. And he's he's a cool dude and he's killing it. He's a zillionaire, but like. I want to I want to rough get a little rough and tumble. I want to roll around in the in the shit yep. a little bit. I like that. I'm from New Orleans. I want to you know. You like the under tapestry, the subterranean, yes, the dark yes, world. Yes, the dark exactly. world. You like comedy. lifting up that pretty rug and getting underneath that. Yeah, shit. I remember seeing Geraldo and be like, I like that. And they're like, Well, he's a heroin pillhead. I'm like, All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's <laughs> yeah. do it. And then I like him even more. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about what you're talking about, but I, I got I got yeah, I understand. You know, yeah, you were doing blow back there. I you was, know, I was never a drug guy. <laughs> never a drug guy, but I was I was definitely you were. Around it. You get you get nice and mucky and dirty. It, yeah, there's something about the road. It's something about nowadays. Everybody's watching. Nowadays, if you get a little fame, they got Twitter and people are people like to tattletale. But yeah, back, yeah, back kind of cool though. They're pretty cool, but for the most part, it's true that there's something about just doing a show in New Orleans, wherever the fuck you are, and going to some dive bar, some speakeasy, yeah. and just drinking and and just hanging with a bunch the of strangers. Chick around. And you go kind of where the knows? wind takes you. You know, some fans like I know this place you're like let's go that's yeah. right i've never met you before i'll never see you again but let's live that's motherfucker. right are those tits real you yes. know whatever happens am i going gay tonight you who knows, knows. <laughs> yeah. a, needle, a needle in my arm i guess i trust you hey, yeah how, how wild was it uh on the road with bert oh man so well, you open up for bert in uh europe in europe oh, 14 Jesus. nights 14 countries 14 or i guess 28 shows I mean, no break, no, no. I think we had one day off, and we went to some strip club in Copenhagen and had a fucking blast. And he was like FaceTiming his wife while getting a lap dance. <laughs> and shit. It was insane. He's so married, uh, but he is God very bless. married. But uh, I don't think he knows his kids' names, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, it was just so like I took three years off my life. I was telling you that one kid came out the last two days, and he was like, after the first night, he just was like, "I'm going home." Really? And I was like, I did 14, you pussy. Come on. <laughs> wow. I, just keeping up with Bert. He's like a 70s <clears throat> celebrity. He's eating yeah. a steak at fucking 11 a.m., drinking a scotch. Then he goes and works out. And then he comes back and does like 10 marketing things. He's editing a video. He's shooting shit. And then we do the set, and he gets blotto all night. And then he does it the next day. God. Monster. I love a monster. That. Mickey Mantle gene. He's what? got the Mickey Mantle. So where did you have <laughs> the he, Mickey Mantle gene? He That's totally like does have yeah. that. I mean, he'll die at 49. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, we better enjoy it while he's yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, enjoy it, folks. I saw him yesterday. He's uh, he's looking good. He's taking where some did, time where off. Did we, where did you go? Tell me the countries. What was your favorite um, country? Uh, Well, <laughs> let's see. You know, Dublin, Manchester, Scotland. And, uh, Amsterdam, uh, all all the Europe ones. You know, did you get loose in Amsterdam? We got loose. We you know we just did the canals and get a, got a bunch of weed. Are you a drug around. guy or not? Not a weed guy. I can't do it. I'm, I'm too fucked up. The weed brings out all the demons. Yeah, it doesn't suppress them like alcohol. What you, like you, you like? You like booze and uppers? Yeah, yeah. But you're and uppers. But Let's you don't seem that. like uh, lots. Of you have your <clears> darkness. <throat> it's from your childhood. I think so. Yeah, I had a weird childhood. How so? Well, let's see. Uh, my dad got a wild hair up his ass and bought a mansion, dilapidated mansion in a poor black neighborhood. So, first of all, the house was fucked. We barely had running water. It was, you know, we'd have family meetings like, all right, go shit at school. Don't shit here. We need the water. <laughs> and then my dad started running out of money. So, he, he made the back half of bed and breakfast, like old style. So, my mom's whipping up pancakes at 8 a.m. And I'm like, can I get one? She's like, blow me, dick. Uh, eat, a, eat a bowl of Cheerios, you cunt. And so, so I was like, all right, sorry, Jesus. And so you and you know, they're so my parents are workaholics, they're checked out, you know, they 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 were nice people, but they're just like, Hey, we gave birth to you. You figure, you figure it out. It out yeah. yeah, go there's watch no, TV. There's no attention. Yes. Uh, Dr. Drew, I just Best did thing to podcast. happen to a fucking comic. Maybe, but boy, yeah. it's sad. Don't give them yeah. attention. Yeah. Yeah. So what Dr. Drew say? So he said, you're because uh, I was like, my mom didn't react. Like, I, I have girlfriends. I'll introduce her to my mom. They're like, whoo, that was tough. I felt like I was bombing in there. I'm like, welcome to my life, you fucking whore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm 20 years of that shit growing up. And uh, <laughs> so, so like, I bombed like, in there. Like, no wonder you need the last from fucking strangers. Exactly. Like, ask me a question. Just ask me a random question. This um, is my mom uh, um uh, a random question um where are you from 
what time is it? Where are we? You know, it's just like, oh shit, sorry. She like, won't engage. Yeah, and it's, she's not mean. She's just like, she's just got her checked down. Yeah, she's just like thinking about, all right, I got to pay the bill. I got to water the plants, you know. And you're Did like, you have brothers and sisters. Older brother, and he's a genius. He's like this, you know, math computer wizard. And our neighborhood was so dangerous that he just head into a computer like as a kid and he just became like DOS and shit. Did you make friends books. in the neighborhood with the black Yeah, kids? yeah, but then you got into fights and there was a lot of racial tension. It was the 90s and bikes were stolen and we got robbed all the time. <laughs> we had this crazy alarm going off because our house was so big and you would just, I'd be like an eight-year-old kid and you just hear like glass breaking and then woo! And I'm just like, ah, ah. I'm in my room, like hugging up Teddy, you know, hoping I don't get raped by fucking Leroy. And, uh, you know, you go downstairs and, hey, the TV's gone today, you know, and that was yeah. that was a Tuesday. Yeah. And we got robbed all the time. My dad, he's got like, he's like N-word rich, you know, where he's like, oh, we're going to buy a shitty Lexus, but it's a Lexus, you know, so the Lexus would get stolen. He's like, all right, he'll give me like cab money to go to school and shit. And, uh, and that was just how it was. I, I remember I told this story on Rogan, but I got my uh, bike stolen just, just, Street toughs, you know, they would rub their front tire on your back tire, and that meant, like, oh, you're fucked. <laughs> and uh, they would just take your bike. And, you know, you could try to fight them, but there was, like, three 17-year-old kids without dads, you know? I'm not going to fuck with that. No, nah, you're, you're going to give them your bike. <laughs> yeah, and so you, you, you get comedy early, you know? Yeah. And uh, you try to be funny and, you know, public school and all that, but... Uh, so you went to an all-black public school? or It was, was it? pretty mixed, yeah. but it was... it was. Uh, New Orleans does have a lot of racial tension. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. What's well, the South, you know? Yeah. And there's so much poverty there because yeah. it's like tourism 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 it's and then so the rest poor. of the city is kind of neglected miami's rough. like that it's so poor yeah in the black neighborhoods it's just so fucking it's poor. crazy how's your how, what's your relationship with your dad and mom now we're, we're cool but it's almost co-worker like are like, they still uh in new orleans yeah 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 they're they're in the mansion hard. No, they got oh. out of there. Two two guys broke in with guns and Jeez. tied them up what? and like took all the jewelry and the credit cards and the car keys and so they were Would like they let all right, go? that's about it what's that but they let them go they let them go, but uh, you know, my dad, you know, they, they untie themselves uh, twenty minutes after they left, and they're like, ah. you know, he's, my dad's like chewing the fucking ropes. He's like, that's probably that's, that's not yeah, a good that, time. That's what did it. So yeah. they were like, all right, we should move. I mean, we got robbed a zillion times, but I walked in on a few robberies. What? Yeah, because you know, as you're so young and uh, juvenile, you don't know what's happening. So they'd be like a big guy with a like a TV under his arm, and he's like, oh, where are your parents? And I'm like, oh, let me go get my dad. And the house was so big, I would run to the other side of the house, and I remember looking out of the window, and I saw him running through the backyard with the TV, and I was like, oh, that's weird. The house was huge. Huge huh? house. Like, we had a wing. We had wings. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, not a good bad business. Move, pops. I was going to say, hey, you know, bad move to, to be the first one to gentrify Dad was the Scrooge McDuck of the hood. <laughs> yeah, and so everybody thought we were loaded. Because, you know, we were the white way. family in the mansion with the Lexus. What did they, so what did he do to buy that mansion? Did they have money to begin with? Well, it was so sh run down that I think he's like, I got to fucking steal on this place. It was place. like a foreclosure maybe? Yeah, it was, I think it was a foreclosure. And the neighborhood was so shitty and it was such a shitty build that he was like, I think he got it for dirt cheap. I remember one time we called the cops so much they knew us. They're like, oh, the Normans. <laughs> and so eventually they're like, you know what, let's go sleep or stake out in the kitchen and we'll actually be there if a guy comes and catch him. That's how frequently Good we were getting robbed. God. They were like, let's stake out in the kitchen. So I was like, this is so exciting. I'm 10 years old. There's two fucking grizzled cops in my kitchen. And I'm like, this is exciting. I hope they bust the guy. And I went downstairs like 7 in the morning. I ran down expecting to see some guy in cuffs. And the cops had ransacked the whole pantry, eaten everything out of the fridge. We got robbed again. <laughs> the cops took all the pancakes, the pop tarts, the t cinnamon toast crunch, those fucking pigs. <laughs> And they hightailed out of there at 6 a.m. God damn. Yeah. And at what age did you leave New Orleans? I got, I did University of New Orleans, but I was such a drunk piece of shit that I just, I got like straight F's. And my parents were like, you got to figure something out. So I went to community college at Baton Rouge. And I would have uh, gotten, I would have gotten three police dogs, three German shepherds. It'd be nice. We had a to, cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think this through at all. No, they didn't think, I, I would be, I'd have fucking... Well, uh, you don't buy that mansion and think like that. Yeah, man. exactly. Right. And they're, they were you the most liberal people. No. Most liberal, like I get my bike stolen and they're like, what happened? I'm like, ah, these two kids, you know, they were like poor kids and they were like, ah, they need it. They need it more than us. And I'm like, all right, shit. Well, who, whose side are you taking here, mom? Yeah. You know? And that's why you grow up with, with low self-esteem? Yeah, like a low self-worth. Like, that's why people go, man, you have so many uh, jokes in your act. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, these people came out 
and are paying money. I can't li- let them down. I got to yeah. fucking bring it. Yeah. You know, well, I see a lot of comics go like, what else is going on? Uh, oh, what am that, I doing yeah, here? You're like, what are you worst. crazy? This cunt got a babysitter. Bring the heat. You come stay in. Let's go. <laughs> bring the heat. I fucking agree with that. It's, it's called respect for your audience. Yes, yeah. exactly. I, I, I couldn't agree more. They valeted, you know, like. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna not. Try I, I my say best. that every fucking time. You got people that are paying. They're, it's costing them a hundred dollars for that night. Yeah, and they won't better, come back. No, they won't. If you let them down, they Have will not come back. Give them a fucking yeah. show. Who do you think you are? Who do you think? Yeah. You are? Dance monkey. Get like, you know, they sit on the stool and they're like, oh yeah, what, what, figuring what's it the out. News like, what oh, are you kidding? You knew about that. this all day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you knew about this all day. I, bro, bro, I used to see that shit in New York all the time. All I'm the not time. Gonna, I'm not gonna mention names, but there were plenty of like but big people at the time. Yeah, the big name guys do that though. Yeah, I guess they can do. Who the fuck? Not really though. No. People, you see people go, what the fuck? I they guess didn't last. so, yeah. They didn't last. I'd watch them and I'd be like, you guys are fucking sitting here. You haven't said one funny thing. Right, right. This whole time. Get the fuck out of It's so it. entitled. It's like, hey, you, you're here to see me. Just look at me. Yeah. Oh, you're so fuck entertain. You. You're yeah. not important. Brennan and I were talking about this. Yeah. Brennan and I were talking about how all of us are so eminently and immediately replaceable. Oh, yeah. You don't Everyone matter. No. Oh, yeah. If like I get hit by a bus walking out here. If I get, if I go away, oh, fuck, really? I liked him. Pass the salt, please. Yeah, exactly. You're yeah. not important. Yeah, and we're all on a conveyor belt. I mean, look at the store. It's just uh, one great comic yeah, after a next. Good. That's how it should be. I agree. And then the other thing is about doing, like, you know, I was thinking about this. I was up in a lineup with Bill Burr, Ali Wong, Sebastian Maniscalco. Um, I don't know. The list goes on. You can't go up Bobby there Lee. and not, Bobby Lee. You can't go up there and not bring the goods. Yeah, it's good em- luck. It's embarrassing, and that might be a new, uh, sorry, an entitled oh, thing. These younger folk, and I hate to sound like Grandpa Norman, but like they kind of have this entitlement. Like, uh, oh shit, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> about not bringing the goods. You're getting what? Older. Oh wait, what, what did you say? I was saying about you got. Oh, when you're I got it line. back. I got it back. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. I got to stop jerking off. Um, <laughs> Uh, and they bomb, they bomb horribly, and they just fluff it off. Like I'm like, Oof. if I bombed like that, I would be in the back cutting myself. Yes. Like, what are you crazy? You should you should hate yourself and you should go home and right. think about what you did and yep. work on it and yep. tweak it and change it and listen. Uh, yep. They don't care. They go. Look, oh, Seb- well. Sebastian Maniscalco records a set, <clears throat> and on the way home, he listens to it. There you go. Most there of the big go. dogs do. Yeah. Yeah, and it pays off. Like the the more work you put in, the better you'll do. And but I, that comes from not really liking yourself that much sometimes. I, I, I agree. Or it like, comes from. I agree. Or it the comes pressure from, of not, not failing too. Yeah, I, that, I would that's think. more of it. That's yeah. more of it. like just realizing that it's always going to be hard, and it's never. You never arrive with comedy. Right, you're, you're, right. chasing, you're chasing a dragon. Yes, you know, you're chasing a dragon. Yeah. Which is also why it's great because you can't. You know, sometimes you beat a video game the first day. You're like, well, that was dumb. Yep. Yeah. You, know, you got to keep going. Like that's yeah. why David Tell hates himself. Calls it, he'll he'll kill with great material and be like, I'm a hack. I suck. You're like, yeah. what? Yeah. But the fact that you think that is why you're great, probably. Correct. Well, I heard that uh, my friend uh, used to wait on Joaquin Phoenix. Oh. Like he was a regular. The Joker. And uh, was that? Uh, the yeah, Joker. The Joker. Oh, yeah. And uh, he he had done, I guess he had been nominated for Walk the Line, right? For yeah. Johnny Cash. And my friend just couldn't take it anymore. And he goes, hey, dude, I just want you to know. Uh, and my friend's a good actor and now is doing well. But he said, um, he goes, I just want you to know, you were so good in that. And Joaquin Phoenix goes, oh, no, no, stop, stop. I'm a terrible actor. I, I, can't, I can't even There you go. Oh, I'm yeah. terrible. I'm terrible. I love that. He was like, oh. Now, he's also probably a little crazy. He's but, a little nutty, yeah. But it's also what drives him. Sure. Know? Seymour Hoffman, I heard, was like that, too. And look oh. where he, he turned out great. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Hung out. I saw him, met him a, a week before he, he went away. And uh, Oh, yeah? He was, he was the color. In New York? Yellow. I was, no, I was at the Chateau Marmont with John Leguizamo. And he came up. I met Sean Penn that morning. Wow. Which is pretty cool. You're like, dropping names I know, all over I know. Yeah, I know, right? Talking trying to, to score smack talking, with talking him. Talking to him. <laughs> talk, it was so cool. I was like, oh, geez, you know, and Sean Penn, who I'm a huge fan of. And then Philip Seymour Hoffman came up with like, a cigarette is not enough to a cigarette is not enough. Uh-huh. So I was like, hey, hey, yeah. Yeah. oh my God, I smoke a cigarette, but I'm over on. Well, he can do that, yeah. yeah. But it never, never, was he ever bad in a movie? Was he ever just okay so. in a movie? Or was he always amazing? It, always it amazing. How, he stole the show at Boogie Nights. He was always oh, an amazing. Oh, Seymour? Guy. Yeah, as good killer. an actor as killer. it gets. As good an actor as it gets. Luckily, we have Gaffigan, who, who looks just like him. <laughs> but um, Bigger, though. Yeah, another monster. Yeah. Taller. Another, another monster. beast, yeah. But isn't that funny? You mentioned Sean Penn with a cigarette. Isn't it funny now how much it's all changed? Like, older guys are badasses. 
You know, like when you were younger, old guys were like, hey, you know, uh, button your shirt and comb your hair and cut, get a haircut, kid. And now old guys are like, ah, these young kids are fucking pussies. You know, yeah. no, everybody's eating kale and not smoking. And yep. everybody's, all these comics are sober now and everything. Yep. It's kind of flipped yeah. in like uh, old is cool now. Yeah. And old is tough. Old is tough. Old is yeah. tough. Kids are not tough. No. Younger people are not tough yeah. at all. They're crazy. Like, if we had a war now, who knows what would happen? You know, it'd be like, ah, oh, the, uh, I, I was, uh, the gluten got me. You know, we well, could just throw peanuts at the, at the fucking troops. <laughs> we, we, use, we use drones. We use drones. <laughs> yeah. Technology. I saw, I went to pitch them at Netflix the other day. Boy, did I bomb that pitch. I can't pitch a show. It's brutal. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I pissed the guy off within like four seconds. Well, Netflix Why? is super politically correct. I know. I alt, know. Alt left. Alt left. Well, is that because Homeboy got in trouble with dropping the N word? Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. And he said the N-word. He didn't... Did, he was did, saying, did they let's fire not him? say this. Yes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he said, let's not say this word. Yeah, yeah they fired crazy. him. He said the word. Yeah. Awesome. But uh, Netflix, is, Netflix is literally has a creda. They'll, they'll tell you. Oh, yeah? They, they have quotas. They're Bart like, didn't know you have a TV show. You have a TV show. We have an Asian director. We have a woman director. And there's a... It's not... doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's less about... I think Whatever they're doing, business. though, they're doing. They so seem what, to be doing so what well. happened in your? So I, I had two good pitches before that. So I was loose and I was zanging and zanging and I was I was on and we were in there with the Netflix guy and we couldn't get the video to work to play the sizzle and it was just showing like the ceiling and I go oh it's the Kevin Hart sex tape I'm trying to make jokes <laughs> and the guy goes can you believe that the woman is suing him for that I was like well I think it's the best thing he's ever done uh, it's funny it's funny than his specials and he was like you know I produced the last four of those and I was like oh well I'm just I'm just fucking around. You know, we all love Kevin Hart. And he's like, I don't think that's appropriate. I mean, he does. He works with Netflix. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just a calm, just busting ball. I love Kevin Hart. I wish I was him. He's a little guy and cute and all that. Uh, Pets too. Go see it. Blah blah blah. And he just the whole pitch. I'm that was just, it. I, oh, I'm pouring my heart out in this pitch, shucking and jiving. I'm tap dancing, and he was just like. Take right, a, thank you. Take a joke, man. Right, that's well, the whole thing. Netflix is doing something right, though, aren't they? I mean, it'll catch well, up what do you him. think of what do you think <laughs> it'll catch up with them it might really? it might catch up yeah yeah it'll yep. catch uh, Disney's jumping into it you get these other streaming services jumping yeah. in yeah. They're, they're gonna have some competition mm -hmm. oh, oh dude Di Disney doesn't admit. Disney yeah. Disney went oh Netflix this is how you do it cool and then they took all their stuff back yeah. they start doing specials yep. they start well know. Netflix now has become a, a place where it's all original content right you can't find no they, they have other stuff yeah. like they they had friends on there right the they office. have Seinfeld the I office. think they're losing friends aren't they I think they're, but they still have they, they still have contracts other stuff yeah. Yeah. oh yeah they but they're uh yeah just like anything they're the cream of the crop yeah. now but they're the big boys are going to come in too yeah it's going to level out where yeah. they're not yeah. the only game in it's town. all good for us it's all right. there's, for there's too many. There, there's so many spaces to podcasting, get a special now. stand up. We are we are uh, we are in a really good financial. Like this is where you want to be for the next ten years. I think. Yeah, it's bittersweet because you got to do the tweeting and this and that, but then you can also have control of your we whole, you know, art form. This Look is the first Schultz. time ever in my in my in my career and in, and in, in show business where artists have this much control. Yeah, and where they're making all the money. It's crazy. It's crazy how much money these comics are making. I mean, Not me, but uh, dude, it's nuts. Wild to see. But it's the new rock stars. It's this. It's what rock stars were like. Now, as a comic, you can sell if you can sell five thousand, ten thousand tickets, which a lot of our friends are. Yeah, it's sky's the limit. Oh yeah, it's surprising they let Chappelle and Bird still rock out at Netflix because they're the opposite of that. Yeah, but that's why Rogan Netflix too. Is. Rogan too, yeah. But if you got the numbers, I guess, the numbers uh, yeah, Netflix, are enough. I don't think Netflix everybody Netflix doesn't give you the numbers. I'm being a little unfair to Netflix. True, but you know what I mean. Like, if you got the fan, like Chappelle and Rogan are doing arenas, you know? Yeah, yeah but I think Netflix is also, I think what Netflix says, I don't know how alt left are. What I meant is that Netflix no, you said was that. like, yeah, I did. This is I, you. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> I am backpedaling a little God. because actually what they were saying is, Pussy. what they were saying is the old studio system is dead and we want to revolutionize the way things are done. Yes. So, you know, in that sense, I look, don't think anything's doing, wrong with that. I don't either. I like that more people jump into the pool so yeah. you have options. You don't yes. want someone just dominate well, where if right. you're not on Netflix, you're like, oh, you're not really doing well. That's man. right. You I'm know? with you. Yeah, but yeah. Now, Cause, now, cause you don't want Netflix to have to say, like, let's say they pass on Mark or they pass on you, right? They pass on you. It's like, and me. And, uh, both of you guys. Yeah. So then it's yeah, like, well, what the, it. that doesn't make sense. Two great comics. Yeah. I, I look at the other people on there. Some of, some of those people are awful, man. Yeah, funny is the 14th thing on the list now. You know, it's Seems like, what color are you? What do you have between your legs? Uh, what do you identify as? How many Twitter? How many this? How's your podcast? And then funny. 
How do you think I got a special? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Great car, though. Saw <laughs> that car? Red Ferrari. It's unreal. <laughs> uh, sexy. Sexy. Yeah. Man, who's got a it, towel? It's annoying because he, he can beat up everybody, too. So I know. Awesome. you got, And you're so nice. Yeah. You got it all. I'm all right. And yeah. thick. And Who knows thick. how that piece is looking? Yeah, he Deep does dish. well. I've seen it. Deep dish, I bet that's like I've a Nerf it. football. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad at it. Let's get this off me. Let's do turn Pull that out. Pull that out. Let's chat events. roolette right now. Let's do a live this. chat What's the oh, deal? Do you know chat roulette? Oh, yeah. What is this? 1999? <laughs> I have no idea what it is. We just learned on Monday, and we put Chin was doing it, and all the guys were just passing. I was like, oh, what the fuck? So Kat took one for the team. She got on there. Literally, right, dude, chat roulette, and we're fishing for a dick. Yeah. We got one within two seconds. This guy, he goes right to the guy. The guy goes, goo. Whoa. Bazooka. Man, yeah. must be nice. <laughs> See, dicks are so, they're falling out of the sky. They, they, got, no, they got no currency. Like, they're no. like stock. Yeah. They're dropping. It's too, sh it's easy to buy. With vagina, it's, it's worth, it's like gold. Yeah. You know, where dick's like aluminum. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah, you're right. It's that a bummer. Awesome. On chat roulette. All right, let me take a piss before we do. I got a piss, too. All right, you guys, I'll hold it down. Hold it down. <laughs> Stamps.com, folks. Uh, me undies, blue chew. Uh, Express VPN, away bags. All right, I, uh, away bags. <laughs> Sometimes you need... Somebody who's a professional. Yeah, we can't just talk to each other all no, the time. No, because I don't know. You know what happens? Watch. I'm not a pro. If, if, if I have a problem, we've done this. I got a problem. I'm going through something. The problem is, we don't know. It's like there's nothing to say. I don't have answers, bro. So, so we don't talk. Talk to somebody dude, else. Dudes don't talk. If I call Brendan and I go, hey, dude, can you talk? I'm sad. He's going to go, oh, you have the wrong number because it's awkward. Okay. When don't you call me, me, I go, oh, you know I'm sad. <laughs> yeah. Because we don't know. And sometimes you need but an who experienced does mental health who professional. Who does Hit him. You need an experienced mental health professional. Problem is, sometimes it, it bills out at 220 an hour. Nobody has that kind of money to talk to a, like a counselor. Not up in here. Guess what? Better help. Here comes technology. Here comes the web. You can start communicating to somebody who's a licensed professional therapist. Real in therapist. In under 24 man. hours. It's not a crisis line. World It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's counselor network. Go to it and you'll see it. Go to BetterHelp.com. Um, and uh, this, and it's available worldwide because, well, that's what the internet is. Well, you, you can, FaceTime with maybe your girl, yeah. maybe your bros, maybe yeah. your parents. Yeah. FaceTime. It's basically FaceTime with a therapist. You, you can They're log there 24-7. You can log into your account anytime, send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely, thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room where you see people you might know. It's no, all no one has time for that. Go to no. betterhelp.com slash fighter. Join the over 500,000 people taking charge of their mental health with the help of experienced professionals. Fighter and the Kid listeners, TFAK Army listeners, get 10% off your first month talking to a therapist. Betterhelp.com slash fighter. Dude, I like fighting. I like football. I like basketball. I like baseball. And, and I like, like money. 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 So I want to watch the game. I want to bet on it, but I want to know who I lay my money down with. I'm going to get my money back. Well, you want to put your money what, where dude? your mouth is, bro. Yeah, bro. And I'm going to bet my money with my bookie. Uh -huh. My bookie. Bookie. You can bet on specific things like game winning touchdowns on two minute drives, all kinds of like, you can break it down, right? Yeah, you gotta do the smart thing. Go to mybookie.ag. No one gives you more ways to win than they do. MyBookie's got the fastest payouts and better lines than any other sports book. Do the smart thing. Do the smart thing. If you're gonna bet this football season, bet with my bookie. Make money on the NFL season. And UFC, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Soccer, football. As you, you Brits you call it, anything you want. whatever, dude, join now and my bookie will double your first deposit. Use promo code fighter to activate the offer. That's promo code fighter. Visit mybookie.ag today. You play, you win, you get paid. Mm, you get paid, get paid, watch sports and get paid. Hey B, if you're like me back in the day, yeah. back in the day before I met you, yeah. before I met you, dude, I'm not always paying attention to my bank account. Right. I'm not always doing it. Sometimes it was overdrawn. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's banks too make late. a lot of money on overdraft fees. Yeah, they so you said you, you end up spending $37 you didn't have. Yep. Maybe maybe buy a cup of coffee. Overdrawn $37 for a yep. cup of coffee. Yep. What are we doing? And you, get, and you, and you have to pay $100 for that sometimes? Oh, dude, are you, are you kidding me? It's like it's like when video... Remember when you, you wouldn't return Blockbuster? the video? And you get, you, they make their money on late fees. That's yeah, what, well, that's what everyone's doing. Not anymore, thanks to Dave. Dave app is... D-A-V-E? Dave? Just like Dave. Can't spell it. Right. Shimper, you 
be handling money. Dave app put an end to overdraft fees for good. Dave is the number one budgeting app in America because it saves you from overdraft fees. Tells you about upcoming bills and can advance you seventy five dollars. And it doesn't, it doesn't take a credit check. And then there's no interest. Dude, get yeah. the Dave app and for just one dollar per month. Yeah. One dollar? That's twelve dollars a year, which is way wow. less than an overdraft fee. Just one fee pays for that. You man. gotta pay one you you pay one one again. You'll never pay an overdraft fee again. It helps you budget for upcoming expenses. Text you if you're spending too much. Dave text you. And by Dave the way, I can use goes, that bro, right now. Dave text you. If you need if you need fast cash, you yeah. need an advance advance you seventy five dollars in just ninety seconds. How about this? Mark Cuban, ever heard of that billionaire? He's an yeah. investor in Dave. He believes in it. Yeah. Because he got overdraft fees when he was younger. We all do. We've been there. Go to Dave.com slash F A T K. It really helps the, way, the show. If you let them know you heard it from here, download Dave and never pay for another overdraft fee again. It's immediate savings. Go now. Dave.com slash F A T K. Three million people already use Dave. To save up to one thousand dollars a year yes. in overdraft fees. It's That's spelled why it's the number one budgeting app in the app store. Number one. D A V E Dave.com slash F A T K. Let's do this, guys. Talking Let's about do age, it. talking about height. We're talking about lion. Talking about lion, all kinds of stuff. What, what do we you, got? What here? do you guys got? So First just one. an update from the other day's story about that um resource officer who arrested the six year old girl and the eight year old boy. Yeah. He has officially been fired. Yeah, yeah of no course, because he's Dumb. Wait, what hat? What'd he do? So the rest this is a six year old. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know that For was. For having possible. a temper tantrum. <laughs> Wait, he looks he looks identical to Cleveland. He's he just, does. He does. A family guy. He's just not smart. You gotta get that guy out of there. You don't have gonna a mustache do, like that. He's gonna do something even more stupid. Yep. Wait, are we on? We're on. Oh jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, I almost said a horrible slur. <laughs> All right. Thank God I asked. Yeah. <laughs> and there's one detail I left out of the story from two days ago, which was the grandmother, when she picked up the little girl, said that she was probably acting out because she has sleep apnea and uh -huh. wasn't sleeping well, uh -huh. to which the officer then responded, to I also have sleep apnea. I don't go around kicking people. <laughs> Damn. Cleveland, you are 47 years old. Oh, what a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> what an mm -hmm. asshole. He's just a mess. I don't know. I think we need black cops. Just, you know, to level it out level it out with the shootings. You know, let him kill the kid and then we're back. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I hope the kid was white that he shoots, because then uh, kid, you the know kid was black as well. Oh he was? Yeah. All right, so look, it's not a racial thing. We just <laughs> yeah. cops like shooting people. That's it. <laughs> Take it it's easy. like to shoot. Yeah. Like, hey, did you see did you see that cop that I think it was in LA? Was it in LA? The cop that thought she was in her apartment? Oh yeah, yeah. But it, she was wasn't and then shot the black oh, Texas for sure. It was Texas. But then shot the, the, the black guy. Went to yeah. the wrong apartment. Good God. I, I mean, I'm, is anybody buying that? That she went to the wrong well, apartment? Well, sometimes yeah. the floors and you're tired. I mean, that can happen. But Something's Really? Up. Something's up. There's no know. way. I don't know. There was a new detail that came out about that case recently where they looked through her phone records and within the time that that all went down, she was sexting somebody. Mm -hmm. So they're saying she was in a compromised state of mind. <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> you could if you're like, Busy and doing stuff, sure. and you uh, accidentally dude, walk in somewhere. I'm rock hard. I, I remember I parked oh, on the wrong yeah. floor too. I that's parked on the wrong floor, so it happens. Tra I've done it. That's yeah. a tragedy. You, oh, really? You've done it? I have done that. Yeah. What? Shot a black guy? <laughs> no, 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 not that. Not went that. to the wrong apartment. Yeah. Uh, I've 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 tried to get into the wrong. I've, I, I've been texting. Went to the wrong car. I've, I've done, done that too. as well. Okay, yeah, there I've you done go. That. Oh, you know I can't believe it now. Yeah, yeah. I was texting I mean, once, went in the a, wrong that's pussy. That's a disaster. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, there was like a bunch of girls lined up, and I was not paying attention. What the fuck <laughs> was that? The road or just your your Tuesday night? <laughs> that was Burton, Europe. Well, girls uh, like <laughs> girls line up for Mark. No, no, I'm 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 a child. <laughs> What else you got? <laughs> okay, just a heads up. This one is a very sad one. All right. They don't have too much behind the reason why the father did this, but in New York, a father held onto his what? daughter and jumped onto the train tracks before a train came and hit him. Um, yep. Luckily, she hit the floor flat, and he was killed, but she was fine. She just had some bruising and some cuts. the train went over her? Over the dad, yeah, and she was underneath the dad. So he was trying to save her. No, he no. jumped in with you her. You want to commit suicide he wanted with her. To kill the both of them. What a piece of shit. I'm jealous of the connection they had, at least. You know, my dad was uh, 
He wasn't hugging. At least you got a hug out of it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. There was a hug. Damn. Mark, sort of I feel bond. like you're looking at this the wrong way. Oh, oh sorry. I sorry. just feel like you're making this about you, and I don't know. You're right. You're right. It's still uh, bad. I love you, Dad. What's the, I love you. Still love you, Dad. Yeah. What's, the, what's the video? God, God, the, video? the video is of the little girl crawling out from uh, under her oh. oh, I don't know if I can watch this. All right. Well, yeah, I'd, ra- I'd rather watch the dad get hit by the train mm. than the little girl. Yeah, same. Out. Same. Yeah. Just put on some kitty porn. We'll call it a day. <laughs> Jeez, at least that kid's getting off. <laughs> oh my God. Mark. <laughs> Although, I guess technically they, they could both be riding a train. Mar- Mark, I'm this sorry. is an outrageous. <laughs> sorry. Mark, you're, Mark, you're reading into this whole thing the wrong way, dude. So, a man in Texas went and divorced his wife without her knowledge. And now police officers huh. are looking for him because he went to a notary and forged her signature. Wow, she was married to Frederick Douglass? <laughs> mm hmm. That was amazing. Shit. <laughs> This is a long time ago. Yeah. She's married to Clinton Portis. That's cool. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's kind of fun. That's how I would divorce a a wife. He's my age. Doesn't look bad. And she didn't know about the divorce until a couple months later when she noticed him buying jewelry on his credit card statements, asking him what it was for. He said, I don't need to tell you we're divorced. Damn. I like against the law. Yes, she had takes to. Takes two to tango, huh? Yeah. I guess he also so. forged her signature, so. See, I'm a guy, I'll be in a relationship miserable. I was in a 13 year relationship, which should have ended at seven. But I just was like, I don't want to dump anybody. That's mean. Mm-hmm. Even Jeez. seven's being generous, you know? Probably yeah. About three yeah. in. You Probably, know? yeah. High school sweetheart, the whole thing. But I, what am I going to hurt somebody's feelings? Yeah, I agree. So eventually, I just kind of checked out emen- emotionally, and she she dumped me. Are you good at like break breakups? Can you just break up? Or That's you, what I'm saying. I couldn't do it. No, you drag it out. Yeah. I drag, I'll just I'll just marry her and be miserable forever. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Yeah, somebody crying. I don't want to confrontation. Yeah, I don't want the worst. The worst. The worst. Hurting somebody. Nothing. Yeah, worse. that's why I don't know how you fight people. I, I would just be like, I love you, man. I'm, nah, what are we doing? He's like that, actually. He, yeah, I, w- I would have been a much better fighter if I was meaner. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't want to hurt anybody. Like even when you even when you would practice, you would never no double I, down. Yeah. Coaches hated it. Yeah, Seinfeld used to have this great joke about how it's just weird the two guys fight. Like she'd at least get in like a little car wreck. And then fight, you know, because you need some animosity. I know. Well, a lot, a lot of the good fighters create that animosity. Nick That's Diaz, true. Nick Diaz. He's an uh, angry guy. I know. A lot. A lot of them view it as just it's it's what they do. They don't need the animosity. Yeah. The, ah, the pros, crazy. pros don't need the animosity. But like Khabib, you can see he's like, I really want to fuck this guy up. So but he's guys, an athlete too, though. He's like, well, of course, you know, he's there to just. Uh, he's worth there to win. Yeah, it's a sport. Scary guy. What does she got, Cat? Hey, can I just say one thing? This, the Colorado shooter, the, this school shooter, this one, uh, number three. Dude, you see what they're doing with the movie Joker? Is that a girl or a guy? That's a that's a guy, right? Guy. That's a girl. It's a, wasn't he in transition? Oh, no. It's a, you know, uh, Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, boy. What pronoun should we use? Devin there? Erickson. It's a guy. That's a guy. Yeah. Wow. Let me see this. In Jay's. Are you watch it? Woods. Yeah, I'm going to watch this for two seconds. Suspects in the deadly Colorado school shooting. Oh, shit. Is this today? No. This oh. is months ago. Okay. You never know. It's shootings. There's so many. Every day. Wait, is that what he... That's, well, that was him? No, that's yeah, the guy. That looks like a victim. That, that guy got killed. Oh, yeah. That's like Louis C.K.'s joke. The fat guy. Suspects in the county courthouse in Castle Rock, Colorado with the latest. Alicia. Hi, John. The service for it, Pedro Castillo is being called a celebration of life, and the procession will be led by the Douglas County Sheriff's Department. It's the first time they've done so for a civilian. The 18. Ah. Let's talk about his funeral. As a oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who helped Tough. But did you see you, the movie The Joker? Because yeah, uh, the you, is this one of your current events? One of them, yeah. All right, I'll save it. Good. Mm. Move on. I uh, think I know what you're going to say, but I'm excited to see it. Everybody's raving about it. Aurora, where the shooting oh. took place, they're not going to show it there. There's a bunch theater. of theaters doing it. Oh, wow. Because they're worried that the for whatever movie, for whatever reason, the character Joker is like the... Incel? It's, it's like the He's, Jerry Seinfeld of comedy you, for for mass shooters. It's oh, Jerry Seinfeld. is that right? Well, in, in some yeah. ways, maybe I, I know this, that. maybe I don't, but in a way, it's like almost there is probably Careful some... Be. Yeah. You're in the movie, you know. Oh, you are. You know. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Congrats. Yeah. This is a, this is gonna be a big hit. You might you the might have to sell hit. a ticket. Yeah. You never know. I have, um. I, it would have been. It would be a well, big Century hit. Well, Century City's not gonna do it right because last time there's the Joker movie there, Batman Begins. There was the mass shooting. Whoa! I didn't know that. It's I, didn't know that. I don't mm-hmm. think so. Ooh. Yes. L.A.? Aurora. Aurora. Oh, this is, <laughs> Aurora. I'm yes. thinking of Studio the, City. It's The Century. Yes. Got Aurora. it. Got yeah. it. Sorry. Uh, the movie, yeah, I can see that being an issue. You think in like 
a hundred years will go to the Aurora Theater like it like people go to Auschwitz. Nope. You know, you think it'll be like a landmark? No, there's too many. Oh, there's too many. There's You're too right. Many. Yeah, good point. It's 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 normal now. Yeah, no one's going to Sandy Hook it's the f- on no, vacation. No, it's the flavor of the week. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a bummer. Isn't that wild? Yeah. What a weird. I wonder if shooters bummer. talk about it, like comedy, like man, but Mac. You know, like people talk about Carson. They don't have anybody to talk to. They're usually alone. <laughs> well, you know, well, we no, talk- they have group chats now. That's where they organize things and get ideas. Here's the problem. Well, it's not the problem. Here's the thing. You're not, not. They're not getting famous anymore. That's what I'm saying. They used to get famous from oh, it. God. Yes. But now, like we know the Columbine shooters, the first one. Right. You know, those dumbasses. Exactly. But now, like the media's savvy to it. Like, oh, this is what they want? So you don't see their faces? Right. Like, that's the first time I've seen that fucked up moron with the dyed hair. Same. Who shot the stem. I don't, I the, can tell you his name. The lady boy. The, most of their names. But I'm saying you did Carson in the 80s. You were famous overnight. It was like a school shooting. Now, as a comic, no one cares. It's like school shooters. You know? You, no one cares. No one cares. It's too, there's too many. There's too many. It used to break you. Yep. Now it doesn't. Nope. God. Now I got Andrew Schultz and just, you know, put your shootings online. God. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Right? Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> See, I, this is why I'm not I'm bombing my Netflix uh, oh, did, pitches. Got... <laughs> I'm too is dark. Andrew Schultz. <laughs> what else you got? Um, this is... Okay, this is a trailer. We'll be able to show a little bit of it, but it's Adam Sandler's new movie. Yeah, looks Jen. good. It looks awesome. seen that? All right. So it's his Great. serious role. Have you seen Sailor Around New York at all? Dude, I just saw him yesterday <laughs> at the Netflix office. I got to say this. He's wearing a T-shirt, basketball shorts, and flip-flops. Yes. So I was like, man, did he make it. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm shaking in my boots. Oh, hey, Mr. Netflix. How you doing? Uh, I'll <laughs> Who suck is this? your dick. Who, who is this? Sandler. Oh, man. The Sandman. Just hanging out in the lobby. Like, Dude, he is Netflix. They said they gave him like a 12-movie deal. Fucking killing hell. So killing he it. always wears baggy clothes. Yeah. He's self-conscious of his body. Let me Is see, that right? Let me see this. Interesting. Huh? See, we all, we all have flaws. We're all human. Yeah, this looks... I love when he does drama. Punch Drunk Love. Spanglish. Spanglish is great. great. Waterboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a Totoro vibe, huh? Kevin, Kevin Garnett. Garnett. That's uh, Frank. What's his face? He's the he was the manager for the Mets. There you go. Oh, she's in uh, Frozen. Mizzell. She's Dina in Mizzell, Frozen. Yeah. Wow. How do you know Frozen stars? I got a three year old. Oh, you do? That's oh. Adina Mizzell. Do you want to build a snowman? I think she's sexy, man. The kid? Adina Mizzell. <laughs> oh, 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 I thought you meant the three year old. She's fucking sexy. It's her voice is I crazy. I think she's just hot. I just I don't know. I agree. She's got a of... crazy jaw. Yep. Yes, yeah, she does have a jaw. I like it. I like she's a big, hot. big mug. She looks Israeli or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on? I love Israeli. She's Israeli, Israeli, right? Is she? She Israeli chicks are the beautiful. Crazy like that Quagmire. Israeli to Jew to American Jew. Real drop off. Maybe I don't know. Something yeah. about the Jew blood and that the homeland. Yeah, the it's homeland. pure. Then they're they come tough. here and they they're fucking tough. They're yeah. Tough. They Sephardic. get allergies and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they can't touch a, a milk. What else you got? All right, the next one. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. I'm talking about the internet not working. Don't ever apologize. The internet yeah. not working? It was like Stalin, so that's uh, why I couldn't finish the trailer. I'm going to watch that. I'm going right. to watch that too. When's that come out, by the way? It's on 2020. Netflix. It's on Netflix, right? Ah, damn. Yeah, of course, it's Netflix. Damn, that's too Loss long. of man that's who lost. Wait, let me see. This. Okay, so this is, uh, this is from actually Mark's Hood. Ooh. This guy's from Louisiana. Lost? So he tried to propose to his girlfriend on a hotel. You know the hotels that are underwater? It's like the windows, oh. you can see the water. Like so Atlanta, he, like Atlantis? Or like the I sea guess, level. Yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ, yeah. did he go under the what water? What do you mean? Yeah, he went under the water oh. and then proposed to his girlfriend by what? diving. I'm confused. I'll show you the so video So she's in quick. a tank? He's outside the tank? She's inside a hotel that's underwater. Like a hotel room that's underwater. Oh, and he did it with paper? Yes, and this is in Tanzania. Well, Tanzania? I believe it was Tanzania. Where's Tanzania? I don't know. <laughs> Ah. All right, I see. I don't feel so bad if the Asian guy. He couldn't get out right, from underneath. Let's see if this. Uh, let's see if he couldn't, he couldn't get. He couldn't get out. Uh. No, so he actually did the whole proposal, and then he never ended up going back up. He never surfaced. Ah, uh. that's in there. Yeah. That's the note. That's a long note. I can't hold my breath long enough to tell you everything I love about you, but everything I love about you, I love more every day. So he did this. But it's a lot of work. Yeah. Will you marry me? I don't know why that's playing, but. Good job. That's more than you've written in a year. 
God <laughs> damn it, dude. How did he die though? So it's still kind of weird. They don't they don't know ex the exact causes yet. The ah. dots See, I blame the lady. He came back up though. He came back yeah. up. Let me show you this video real quick. Yeah, the one these we crazy always proposals. got one up each other. Yeah, we did don't you see the did you see the 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 fucking it went viral. I think Christina P posted it. It's a girl's wife. She was making fun of it. It was pretty funny, but this lady's going through pregnancy and the guy's like like has a fucking novel. Uh, Have you God. seen this? No. Oh, he's like saying all this stuff to her in this. And she's going through a pregnancy. Oh, labor. It's so intense. See? It's like, dude, labor. You fucked us, dude. Yeah. And all the chicks see that. Exactly. We and we don't want to get married in the first place, you twats. <laughs> we do all this shit for you. That's right. We, we don't want to do guy this. Went underwater. Yeah. Ah. Oh, so God. check out this video real quick. He popped the question. On Not to mention, when you break up, you get all the money. Hearing video <laughs> proposal. It's a lose lose. It went horribly wrong. This Louisiana chance for a lifelong memory. Damn. <laughs> Stephen Weber and his girlfriend Kanisha Antoine were on ah, interracial. East Africa. That's the room right there. See? Resort that features an. Oh, that's pretty cool. Room. Yeah. All right. Here we are. And the under. I don't know if I can I relax. Like that. I don't know if I can relax oh. in here. Antoine, who was inside at the time, shows Weber outside one of the room's windows, 30 feet underwater. Holding a handwritten 30 feet. I didn't realize it's that. 30 that's feet. pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. I have to get down there. To tell you yeah, that's everything I love about you. Yeah. Please be How polite. deep is your love? 30 <laughs> feet. <laughs> 30 feet, exactly. That's kind of, that's kind of. And that's when he started to go up. And that was it. Ah, oh, he should have gone uh, scuba. Emerge from the depths. So you never got to hear my answer. Yeah. And that's her. She posted on her Facebook. Oh, she to say yes. oh my God. Man. What a fucking bummer. What a disaster! Sometimes Jesus. the only one worse, the only you know what, the Get only one worse. Gear. I've told you about this. The only one worse I've seen this is when that couple just got married and they jumped in a Viper. Those Dodge Vipers <laughs> are squirrely. Yeah, everyone's like, "Have a good life." He's all thanks. <laughs> right in the wall, dead. Damn. They both died. Both. <laughs> Damn, Come on, dude. That poor Viper. Are you fucking kidding me? Brutal to drive. Yeah. Jesus 30 feet. That's oh, low. my God. Mm. Dude. There's, the, there's the famous. Know your limits. There's yeah. the famous story about Cleobus and, and Cleobus. Criton. Two Ooh, sons. <laughs> this is an old story. Oh, two sons. I see. Their mother is, is, it, is right their now? mother, the, the chariot, the horse is sick. The mother is a good woman. She's got perfect sons, and she wants to go to the temple to pray to Hera and and Zeus's wife and give alms. And the bro the son said, "Mother, we will take you." And they're the the ex exemplary of of like two perfect sons. And they strap the fucking there chariot to their chest and they run her four miles in the heat to to you know to so she can pray in time to Hera. So uh -huh. the mother gets there and the brother they're so exhausted they have to take a nap <laughs> under a tree and they're like <gasps> we're exhausted. Okay. And, and mom goes and prays to Hera. Ooh, there better be a payoff. And she I'm says, and she says in the face. And she says and it says all I ask and Hera says you're a good she comes to him and says you're a good woman and she goes what can I do for your piety and she says all I ask is that my sons die the happiest of men. Mm. And of course, whose story was better? Of Yours course, Netflix sons, or this one? And of course, her, <laughs> well, here's the punchline. And of course, her sons never wake up. Ah, uh, oh. it's a miscarriage. It's a miscarriage. Oof. Damn. Wow. That's Damn. Tough. I like Sometimes mythology. shit can happen. Look, you died happy, right? Did he? Well. Don't panic. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> probably fucking sheer panic. Yeah. Went, oh, I oh, fucked up. Fuck, I'm not that good of a swimmer. I'm oh. 30 feet deep. That's deep. <laughs> she's 30 feet deep. She's really oh, I'm dead. Man. Yeah. The irony is the black woman isn't the bad swimmer, <laughs> and uh, she's still alive. <laughs> this is. Hold on, Mark. That's not how to read into this. Oh, sorry. God damn it, damn it Mark. Uh, I gotta Pence. take a groundlings <laughs> class. All right, it's all right. No, you're you're all right. You're all right. <laughs> all right. What else you got, Mark? I'm sure you saw this already, Antonio Brown. This is from 2018, though, where he tr he's uh, alleged to have trashed a condo that he paid thirty-five thousand dollars a month for. That's his condo. <laughs> Trashy, right? But the, here's the problem: he was throwing, uh, allegedly throwing furniture outside the window where people were at on the pool. Oh, this guy's a kook, huh? Every yeah. week is something with him. Are you a sports fan? Yeah, yeah. Most comics aren't. I feel like that's true. Yeah. Landing in the pool, landing on the pool deck, people scrambling. Items so you can see the items here going to the pool. Falling at a luxurious hotel and condo. And it lands oh, even okay. right there. And there's... As families and sunbathers look up, then run from what's coming down. Damn. There was even kids running around too, so he could have That's actually a, been really, really bad. He's a fucking moron. But yeah. he's saying it's, it's not him. Like someone broke into his place because uh, they had bad security. <laughs> yeah, you and they're doing this. Maybe. 
No, definitely. We, don't know. we would have footage of another person. I, <laughs> I would expect that. You, oh, you don't see him throwing it? No. Why would he or, do that? Why would he do that? Because yeah. he's a moron. He's the same guy that threatened in a group chat to the lady that's uh, suing him for sexual assault. He group chatted, threatening her life. Doesn't think things through, does he? No. Didn't he rape a couple people as well? Yes, you that's know, the brothel. You were glossing over the chairs. I, I don't mind. Be. Brian goes, I don't think a guy like this would do this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, he was the uh, guy who lost sixty million dollars this year. That guy. Damn. So 30. wait, do you have? Because I got beat up a lot as a kid. Do you have that? Like, let's say he heard you say that he's a moron, and he was like, "I want to fight you." Would that make you nervous? Not Brendan. It would make me nervous for sure, but I'd probably beat him up. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> if wow. He, if he came feeling. at me, he'd beat me up. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. I'm saying you if would, he came would, at me, would, I would beat you him would up. Kill him. Yeah, but I don't you think want so? to. But I don't want to. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I don't well, want to. He's a football much. player. Don't forget. I mean, he's yeah. a large. So, so look, at me, look at me right athlete. now. No, look, look no, right Antonio's now. small, though. Oh, is he? It doesn't, like ma- five, doesn't matter. It doesn't six, matter. Five, ten, six, hey, 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 it okay. doesn't matter. He fought in UFC 16 pro fights. He's, I'm aware. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they, 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 but he has probably has been training. He's thick. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He would, take, okay. he, would take, he would take any of those guys. If they, What are they going to do? Tackle him? Cool. Maybe. Okay, so take <laughs> what, what do you want? Go pick pick whoever you want who's the toughest guy in the NFL. Uh, JJ what? Go ahead. Uh what about Cam Newton? Great. He's a quarterback. Awesome. Let's go uh like oh, a tight end or something. Okay, good. Uh, Glover. All right, Glover. There good. we go. Okay, so ready? No, so, Donald, right? Aaron Donald. <laughs> yeah, Aaron yeah, Donald. Danny. So it's a huge, huge, really I'm big. Danny Glover. I'd fuck him up. Yeah. yeah. Huge, yeah. huge He's really big, really athletic. Brennan, dressed like this, hasn't fought forever. And that, so the guy comes at Brennan <laughs> and slams him against the wall. A big problem. Guess what? Look at that. Guess, yeah, he's going to sleep. I they, don't just, know. they just don't know the technique. Right. I, no, hear I know you. the technique. Yeah, he's also as strong as those guys. Come right, on. Right now. I mean, not anymore. I don't, no, know. I don't live like that anymore. What are you talking about? Be th- that'd Look be at that. Th- that's a different guy. Well, oh. that's, that's Reggie Bush. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. You, you would be Reggie Bush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, he's a big stoner. Yeah, that's true. No, they're, they're, fr- um, they're freaky so athletes. If he, if he, hold, hold, I, don't, I don't like people being mad at me, but of if course. the guy's an idiot, he's an idiot, you know? I guess. I don't have any problems. If they I train don't... forever, but I mean, if they if they just come at him and they're football players they're against a, a UFC veteran who's been, who has, who's been fighting, who has 16 pro fights, and they're heavyweights like Brennan, who's yeah, 270. I just don't want any problems. You can, you can I get more, it. I, don't I love problems. that you're defending your, your boy here. I'm just saying. Like... He'd punch him in the face. <laughs> he punched his He put his fist or his elbow right through his face. But it'd be nice to have that gene, is my point, <laughs> yeah. of like... Oh, yeah, I could beat that guy up. I'm not worried. Yeah. I'm worried about, you know, uh, the, that nerd in the hallway out there on the computer, <laughs> that dweeb yeah. on doing tech, dweeb, you yeah. know? Yeah. At the end of the day, Brendan is, in a, in a, is a guy who is one of those rare guys who, in any situation, if you're in a room with seven people, he could lock the door and kill everybody with his bare hands. <laughs> Unless you're in a room of, wow. of seven yeah. UFC heavyweights. Yeah. Then it could right. be a little dynamic. Even, right. even, but but you, like you're, even good UFC guys right now who are 155, like, you know, really good guys. There's tiny guys. They're, they're not, they're not, Beating Brennan in a fight. I don't care how famous they are. Oh, wow. You, you know how it. hard it would be to get me to fight somebody, Mark? I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. We're in the same oh, but boat. But no. I do. Some people do forget uh, that about him, about his, his the fact that he's a gorilla, a man gorilla. Yeah. And we'll... we'll the you gorilla. Know, you know? The crest gorilla. When I, when, I, the, when I knew that with him was when um, he was fighting. Actually, I think you had just stopped. Or, no, you were fighting. And we were rolling jujitsu, and a giant Samoan professional black belt, professional fighter, heavyweight fighter, Samoan's Samoan guy, terrifying. Goes Oof, like this to Brennan. Thick, he goes thick, giant. Thick pineapple. This guy was bigger yeah. than Brennan. This guy was big and just an athlete. And he goes like this. He goes Shab, and waves him over to roll with him. Mm. And I go, oh geez. And Brennan looks at me. He goes, watch this. <laughs> I go, he's a black belt. And he goes, oh I know. It doesn't matter. Mm. And then I watch Brennan. Beat the is that right? Fucking shit out of this guy. Wow! Send me that link. I got to I mean, rub one out. I mean, can you get the <laughs> fuck out of here? Wow! I was, like, I was like, oh fuck. But that's what you got to love about like a Mark Hunt. You know, he's just like flabby. Uh, is he kill smelling? you? Kill yeah, you? Kill you? Yeah, kill you? Just the, he's got an iron jaw and he's yeah. just got those fucking yeah. swings. Yeah. Do you watch fighting too? Yeah, yeah. Really? You're a fan? I, I, I just watch it on YouTube all day. Yeah. I don't really catch it on when it's on, but I, I'm 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 up to snuff on it. What's your sport? Uh. If you That's had to pick question. one or no. I like the well, basketball is probably the most entertaining, I'd By say. By far. God, but. if Dominic Su, if he decided to start fighting, well, any of those guys. Oh, if, Do- if, if Aaron Donald, oh he's a God. freak. Yeah. What Tennis else you got, Jen? I don't know how we got started on this. <laughs> 
Uh, this is just a quick one. So that Making a Murderer saga. Oh, no. Oh, boy. But this is a, a director from a new th series that's coming out. Oh, I'm all right? about it. I need something new. He's to saying that someone that he talked to in prison confessed to killing that girl, Teresa Hallbach. So it's not those two guys that are in prison right now. Brendan? Brendan Dassey and... Uh, that moron? The other guy, yeah. <laughs> This guy. That's the guy. Avery. Stephen Avery. Yeah, right? I just want to get yeah. <laughs> I just want to get famous enough to be the most famous Galifianakis. Brendan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Brendan yeah. Dassity's killing it. Dude. What do you think? And this is me getting all deep and gay, but what do you think it's going <laughs> on with we're obsessed with Ted Bundy, true crime, <laughs> murdering, and then you say I'm like that black swimming joke I made. We'll get in more but we're so obsessed with blood and murder and like uh, Michael Jackson's molesting kids. Let's watch that doc. Yes. Yeah. We love dark shit. It's like we don't feel anymore. You, you know, you it's know, like we're know, craving it. Yeah, you know what's interesting? I was listening to who? Uh, oh, Dak Shepard on Armchair uh, Expert. Mm -hmm. He was saying how he played this role on Netflix where it was a uh, extreme uh, like right. Um, role like the whole like show right. is extreme alt right, super extreme alt right. Yeah, and his uh, friends, uh, acting friends, uh, like famous actors, like I can't believe you'd play that. He goes, yeah, but two months ago you guys were celebrating that I got an offer to play Ted Bundy. Exactly, so that's me fascinating. Me playing a serial killer. That's a great point. You guys Shelby. thought, oh, fantastic. Good point. But me playing alt right. In, for, in the show, you wouldn't do that. Wow! Right? How right. crazy is wow. that? That is They're fascinating. So dumb, because that's because some people are dumb. I think a lot of people are. That's most dumb. It's, it's, but and they're societies sheep. like it's yeah, but it's, 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 called, it's thing. there's a book called The Madness of Crowds, which I'm about to read. Crowds and it, crowds. Oh, crowds. And, and and it's it's like any nowadays this this hard left or this weird thing where where there's this orthodoxy, and if you violate, yeah, any of it, you're strange. dragged up onto the altar of of the politically correct and it doesn't matter how non-racist you are it doesn't matter who you are if you in any way because it's virtue signaling right, everybody right. wants to be the one to catch the racist and even though they'll, and so they'll go after people who aren't even racist they'll just be like you said that I'm not a racist look I caught that person I'm yeah, expressing yeah. outrage and, and if then you get them you have a group right. let's make sure we get them mob mentality they're yeah, dumb so strange. they're dumb they're not, they're not students of history, but and you know, they're not, well and they're not good people. people. Yeah, some no, are I, well educated. But I, I agree, think, they're not good. Doesn't I mean they're good they're people. Doesn't mean hey, well educated. Doesn't mean you're passion. smart. Doesn't they mean you're smart. Uh, that's guns. that's so interesting. They're like, yeah. uh, I'm really not doing Dude, anything. Well right. educated. Fuck them. Yeah. Right. Well I'll educated, ruin. and I talk to a lot of them on this my old podcast. I'll, uh, the well educated things. means that they are fucking they are that doesn't mean they're smart it means they have an orthodoxy it means they are vicious a lot of but times they're not right. stupid and it people, means B, the they're point. not stupid like, they're, not they're not stupid it doesn't mean they're good people it just means that they are they are ideologues that they mm. are when you're really educated and you live in a in a, hall, in a fucking university you're surrounded by walls mm -hmm. you're surrounded by walls and no one really you, you, you're surrounded by all these people and you better toe the line or you don't right. pretend and share the same the opinion of course yeah yeah you're just even if you disagree, you're just, yeah, yeah. try finding a conservative economist, economics professor at an Ivy League school. Mo they, I'll find them for you, but they're they're relegated to the fucking dark closet over there. It's fat. This is newer, right? Though it wasn't. Yeah, it's new. I feel like when it, I was it, a kid, it, this the wasn't humanities happening. is almost all hard left people. Like anybody who teaches, you know, uh -huh. sociology, even history, they're all Marxists. Yeah, you know? but you think being in the middle would actually be considered more open minded? Yeah, because you're listening. But to they two don't things. have anybody right. challenging their orthodoxy. So all of a sudden, you get this. I, it's this is so well documented. You get this this sort of like collective beehive mind but the irony is the opposite of inclusion which is their big of credo of course it's the opposite of uh, inclusion of course yeah it is. but it you're not even allowed hypocrite. to speak on campuses a lot of times right and so uh, it's That's been a race to the bottom intellectually they're not i talked to them they're not yeah? they're not well they're not widely read they're specifically read so do you think it's a deep pat a deep need to be like fit in and be wanted and be liked it's also it's also when you study have an so agenda, there's a right? huge, yes Stand but there's also a, a really weird thing about being a human being when you study just one thing biology when you study just one thing sociology when you study just one thing oppression when you study just one thing uh, uh victimhood you're gonna see every if, you, if that's what you study that's and that's lens. what you read you Tunnel only vision. see it through that lens right and right. when you're a professor or you're in academia you don't I, i'm telling you i talk to them you don't have to contend with the real world the way we do yeah you don't have to make a profit it's very you don't have to figure like, out a way to yes, like cater to a lot know? of people. All of us are very in tune with with what's going on out there because we we mix with them, drink with them, we perform for them. We know what they like. All we over. hear with it all, all over. over. So, so so but but when you're an academic, you don't have to you don't have to run your own business. You don't have to make a payroll. You don't have to fucking actually listen to you have 
students who are 17, 18, 19, 20. They're in front of you. You have your colleagues who are all reading the same books and speaking right, the same right. language. That, that's, that's why, that's, like with the Trump stuff, is can he win again? It's like, yeah, man. I oh, see yeah. These people. Like, I'm telling you, I, I see people of in Houston course. and New Orleans yeah, oh, yeah. and New York. All They're over. so out of if touch. You, if you get out of the bubble of New York and LA yeah, oh, yeah. and you get in the Portlands and you get in the Iowas and Ohio's, Columbus and Florida, it's like, oh, you know, he definitely has a chance. I'm telling you, he has a chance. They're yeah. amazing. And, and, the way and also, they, those people aren't, you know, like uh, on, online uh, in social media in LA and New York. Right. It's real tight. Right. They don't give a fuck. And the they don't laugh at all your jokes. Right. Every right. joke you man there, I know. they know it's a joke. So, I know. So classic example, classic yeah. example is the Dave Chappelle thing. 17, uh, the critics right. gave it 17%. Rotten Tomatoes. We all gave it 100%. The critics are terrified themselves of going I bad. Know. Why? Because they have shit in their closet. Of course. They don't want to be out. We're flawed. So now you've got journalists from places like BuzzFeed, if you want to call them journalists. Journalists, etc., who get money, you make money off the with, negativity. Off the negativity. That's the yes, clickbait. The click. so, but also, but in, anyone who writes a review, I'm not going to share this common. In, we we have nothing in common. No. If Mark, if you came in here like, hey man, I went around reviewing specials the other day and leaving negative comments, yeah. like, oh, you can't be in here, dude. Yeah, yeah like, it'd be we, weird. We have nothing to talk about. Right. We're not the same guy. But just right. critics right. can be friends. But even yeah. crit critics used to be really good. Critics used to used of be course. Like, now critics are activists. Now Vice yeah, why? Vice runs a thing saying you can definitely skip David Dave Chappelle sticks and stones. That's so weird. Fuck you. Yeah. Well, fuck you. You're but, and they're all afraid that they don't have ideas. So they just have outrage and and offense. Being offended is not an argument, but so but they don't yeah. have they don't have ideas to match. They they're terrified to put their ideas against these like Chappelle's ideas, Bill Burr's ideas. They don't know how to fight them by their own. Yeah. So they exactly. So what all they have them. all they have is a way to publicly shame you, cancel you, and shame you. They're not they're they're too afraid to put their ideas up the, against my ideas. But here's yeah, the other thing. Yeah. Here's the other thing. Well, because everybody's a critic. Yeah. Everyone has their voice now, yeah, whether yeah. whether you're a critic true. from a podcast, whether you're a critic from your social media platform, yeah. these people think they, they garner some sort of attention or it yeah. gives them, oh, look look what I did, man. Yeah. It's like, oh, but it must dude. eat them alive that guys like us are just like, we're on the internet. We're doing a pod. We got our own thing going. You can't stop me. Sorry. I saw these. No matter what you do. You somebody can review me, it, but that's it. Somebody sent me a clip, a clip of these two morons. Um, who were they're just so typical these guys have never done a sport and they have a podcast and they're going bad including on al madrigal they didn't even know who al madrigal was al madrigal is a fucking monster beast. He's and a they're going shrimp this guy? he looks like somebody and i was like shrimp and these easy. two poor guys these poor guys they just live on sort of a way of criticizing people like rogan and stuff but they were it was i was just like oh dude you guys got to get laid get out there and do something do something dude. yeah and the twist it's is so much easier to sit out here and go these guys suck right and they hate this shit all so much but they're gonna make trump win you're making you're, you're flaming the fire man you don't even realize it because you hate it so much and you won't shut up it's making it worse yeah. it, it's the same thing where put, yeah. people are pushing female and uh different they're put, you're shoving in our yeah, face people yeah. go, I, no 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 i don't want right? that are you i know funny? i don't want that Can't, well, i want equality of opportunity and i want equ not equality don't force out equality of outcome i want brenda right. are you good out. enough are you good enough i want to i want to a hierarchy of competence, a hierarchy of merit. Yeah. If you're better than me, you make more money. There, there are you plenty go. of women. I can I can list off a of bunch course. of women that make a lot more money than I do, and they deserve it. Right. Because for however they did it, they got more. They got more people interested in them. It's just I'm a liberal douche myself, but I'm why am I scared of my own side? Exactly. That's not a good sign. They're terrifying. Yeah. They're scary. Well, well, mainly because corporations listen to them, and you can get fired. Yeah, I guess. I mean, fucking Google and and all these big companies. What's the last company we we're just talking about? Where where you fuck up and they'll they'll Netflix. fire you. Everybody can like you know these Best these no uh, uh, Anheuser Busch. <laughs> oh yeah, Blockbuster. Uh, yeah, Anheuser, all of them. Yeah, boy, good rant, everybody. <laughs> Thank that you. was great. <laughs> Thank you guys. Good addition, Chin. What else <laughs> we got? Is that one it? gross one. one yeah, last yeah. One. Gross, one. Yeah, gross. Yeah, gross is the best. Hope this guy, chat roulette. Ooh, he's Rob a, Hillis. He's a hunk. He's a hunk, right? <laughs> He is a There's hunk. A story behind this guy too, he looks but, like um, me and Brian had a baby. Yeah. Right? Charged with attacking rib. Longer so this that, girl right here. Lip biting. That's his girlfriend. And yeah. this girl right here is his wife. Ooh. So his girlfriend was upset with him for some reason. Side piece. Yeah. Well, they're dating. So I guess, yeah. Side piece. But then. Both yeah. marriage, maybe. Okay. So she ended up biting his lip. Mm. And it was so Whoa. bad. Why did she you bite guys his see lip? It? Like he got in an argument. Thing? Yeah, it's a sexual tension oh, and she, thing, whatever. And she bit. She got lip? upset with him for some reason. Had to do. I'm sure maybe he was hooking up with another girl. Yeah. And then uh, that's just that was his, his lip. lip. Oh! oh! 
no, no, that's no, quite no. a herpy. <laughs> Holy that's hell. That's horrible. Dude. That's I don't horrible. get the biting lip. Like, don't. I hate she all that shit. She tried to bite his lip off. Off, yeah. She tried. That's definitely assault. tried to bite wow. it off. Wow. He must have got caught. Who did this? Pretty... Who did this? I'm sorry. What's the this girl? guy do? She's an actress. He's an actress, too. Oh, actor. Wow. <laughs> they, they act on the same soap, soap opera, and they also did, like, um, Lifetime movies and stuff like that. Wow. Wow. Imagine if this was crazy. flipped, by the way. Imagine if a guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. over. Jeez. Ooh, he'd be done. Dude, he's dude, done, done. that's a scarf. That's a scarf. Well, he's hideous now. He pulled it off. He's got a little Bubba Gump action, but he's all right. I don't know, mm. man. Those eyeballs, though. They, they're dreamy. They take the attention away from the... Yeah, his uh, eyes are nice. Bush. Dude, you bite somebody's lip. That's fucked up. Yeah. What yeah. happened to her? Do we know? Criminal charge. So All I'm right. Sure she's gonna <laughs> All right. Good, good. Rotten hell, whore. Can't, can't be by... <laughs> <laughs> Rotten hell. <laughs> I mean, that's, she's a, she shouldn't be walking around the streets. She's a menace. Dangerous. Yeah. yeah. That's not cool, man. Especially if you're going to ruin that Adonis. Yeah. Come but, on. But if she's hot, let her go. You know? I mean, hey, sure. dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, she's a good looking oh, uh, yeah. dame. She's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, she's got crazy the eyes. Women can be, I love it. Women can be very violent. <laughs> yeah, Neil Brennan had that great tweet like, so Bill Burr had the great special by getting uh, sexually assaulted. How come we're not tracking this woman down? Why does anyone care about that? And he's like, oh, that's a good point. Oh, about yeah. the girl that grabbed them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, this that a bit? Yeah, I haven't, great. but you know what? Uh, I, I, I think it does belong to men. Men, men are, it's like my friend, Michaela said, I go, yeah, there's things that women, a lot of women seem to hate men now. And she goes, yeah, I know, but when men hate women, they kill them. Uh, that's and, true. And, so and they, rape. I do think that, I do think that Me Too belongs to women and it should. Yeah, uh, well, well, yeah. well, let's throw well, Terry Crews in there as well. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, did. yeah well, fuck the off, six, Terry Six-five black guy. Yeah. He yeah. was uncomfortable. He can go Just fuck himself. beat the guy up. What do you do, Terry Crews? Yeah. You got a pass to beat this guy that, up. He lost, he lost me there because that guy, I know, that, that dude who's an agent is apparently a great fucking You know that guy? Yeah. I know, I know people, he's a great dude and, and it's so weird I grew up doing that with dude he was, was trash that's what we do it's like shake your hands he was also yeah. trash Terry Crews just wanted to be part Terry Crews it sounds like wanted to be part of this no no Terry, Terry, Terry Crews is also the guy before this a year prior he, was, he came out doing a fucking PR movement on how he's addicted to porno and he had to tell his wife. Get the fuck out of Dude, you mean being a dude? Get out of here. Get yeah. the fuck out of my get bunk, dude. Uh, I, I also <laughs> know. <laughs> get out of my bunk. I know plenty of people that know him, too. You, know? uh, like you hear these stories and you're like, you're like oh, oh, you know what? We can end on this. You, you know who else drives me attention. fucking nuts? And don't get me wrong. I wouldn't kick her out of my bed for eating crackers. Demi Moore. Have you seen her uh, thing? No. no. She, 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 wrote, she uh, wrote a new book. And she's like, I just want people to know when I was dating Ashton Kutcher, who she was 35 years older, she goes, we would have threesomes. I felt like I had to do it to keep him around. I'm like, oh, fuck. Right, well, the ghost this is how you're going to write your book. She's, she, she's, uh, nobody needs attention more than that girl. But I mean, and I, that, again, another person I know and people I know who worked with wow, her, you know her for many years. Oh, I know wow. people that worked with her for many years and she is. She, she is a, Crazy a, a hole that can never be filled. Ooh, her, I'd like, for well, attention. I'd like to for attention. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd have a better. Uh, what I meant. <laughs> you'd do better with filling. Of course, she wrote a book, a tell-all book. Of course, she needs to stay in the limelight. Of course. But, but think bad. about think about. You went bad on your guy after that. Look, Ashton Kutcher mocked my alcoholism. That's because you're 45 dating this 22 year old. Yeah. He's like, quit drinking, bitch. Right. You're always drinking. It's unhealthy. I'm trying to help. And then you. also, you sign up for you sign up to date this in massive celebrity yeah, yeah. who's younger who's also, and he wants to have threesomes yeah. and now you're writing a book yeah. with a tell all mm -hmm. bitch he's married and has kids yeah, and the best yeah. looking guy in the world and a, and, and, and awesome like and Crazy also talented. so he's so wealthy from investing in tech oh yeah oh he's yeah a major oh, yeah. and owns Twitter, restaurants Facebook, yeah monster and so so you know a good guy by the way uh, from what i hear and and uh, uh, you, you go bad on him now fuck off Ugh, demi, also, demi let's talk about it but oh, it, like that's part of relationship you did, he didn't want to go to brunch but he did it you know we, we all do things he, he didn't want to go to church he didn't want to go to church, church on the mall you hang out with your fucking kids of all course. day of course but he did it yeah he's got to hang out with bruce willis's jizz i hate this fucking culture <laughs> i want to get out of here yeah, well. yeah, yeah. He didn't have to been... kick it with Bruce all the time. Remember, yeah. it drove him as a family. Oh. Do you think Ashton Kutcher wanted to take part in Family Day? Yeah, he wanted to bust nuts. I want to fucking let's move somewhere like Boise, Idaho. No, know. let's go hang out with Ashton. Ashton. Yeah. Ashton. <laughs> Ashton. I call him Ashton. You call him Ashton. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. All right, that's it. Mark, we love you, dude. Hey, thanks Mark, for having me. Mark, fun. man, you were my face. I mean, our show's canceled you, now, but yeah, yeah, we're getting kicked off the air. Blame but me. You can blame it all on me. You dress exactly how a New York comic I thought would dress. Oh, is that right? The, to a T. Sponsored New by Balances. Puma and New Balance. Oh, hey, you, I love New Balance. It's all I wear. Really? Yeah. For comfort? 
Comfort. So Stop. I'm a square honky. You know what am I doing? I can't pull. A, you, you I'm got a, a square thick, honky. Uh, he's got a you know a retard shoe. So, you know we're all uh, we're just a couple of those. Are, those are yeah. That's, <laughs> you got a special need. You should have a lunchbox with those shoes. Hey but, man, <laughs> you thought you were talking about me? Oh, you're talking about you. These are fantastic. Fuck, I thought you were going bad on his shoes. I was like, I no, no. In my Mark, neighborhood, those would have gotten jacked in ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, Mike too, dude. Uh, where are you gonna be at? Shit, you at the Comedy Store, Belly Room. Uh, Punchline this weekend, Sacramento. That's a great club, man. Great room, great fucking. Yeah. Room. Love it. The town's a little boring, but yeah, yeah, the town's a little dicey. Oh, you know, it's actually better. When's the last time you went? It's like two years. Yeah, it got better. I was oh, there last really? year. Yeah, right, I was there during the fires and had a good time. <laughs> hey guys, great news! I forgot to tell you. Do do your dates because we're no, doing no, no. his. Before we do his dates, school is airing tonight. Hey, all right. Let's get through his dates. <laughs> I hope there's a guys, shooter in guys, that show. Take it easy. I know you guys have been waiting. School tonight. <laughs> yes. Thirty ABC. Yeah, there's somebody shoots. Go through up your dates, place. buddy. All right, uh, Paramount in uh, Oklahoma. I'm at the Addison Improv. Uh, Is that Dallas? Yep. You got that right. Yep. Yeah, and Cap City in Austin. Big room. Ooh, Let's uh, I love fill Cap that City. one up. Ooh. Acme. I got some hot ones on the bill here. Rooster Teeth. Tacoma's great. Yeah. Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Tea? Yeah, you know Mr. T. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, it's good. No, I like that club. You like it? Yes. All right, all right. If it's you a like little, it, I like it's it. a little club, but it's awesome. Ooh, Helium, Portland, end of December. Yeah, you get some great fucking dates coming up. I like clubs, dude. I like that Rooster T. Feather. Where can they get tickets at? Ma- this you can get it on the. They got a link here. And, Mark you know. Norman Comedy oh, no. dot com. That's it. And then you, I'm sure it's on your uh, Instagram. Yeah, and I got a podcast called Tuesdays with Stories where uh, we uh, yuck it up with a uh, Joe List, and we just do basically what we did here. Uh, I didn't less a handsome. podcast. Oh yeah, it's oh, it's a fun one. It's well, filthy. I mean, if you thought this was dark, we go way <laughs> blacker. <laughs> <laughs> way. B. Blacker. So uh, school for you here tonight. School tonight, eight thirty on. Uh, yes, and we have a new. Uh, Jay was supposed to add this. So Tampa. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, uh, Tampa Improv. Nice. Come see me. I think some tickets are still available. And then, uh, and then October. 24, 25, 26, I'm at Brea Improv. So you fucked us. Ooh, I fucked through the Ice House in I Pasadena, Brian County and Friends. I fucked up. We added this date. Uh, I'm doing Brea in a month from now. So well, maybe, come, I guess, maybe uh, you come down. Maybe you come down. No, I'm not cool room. To Ontario or no, Brea? No, no, Brea? No, 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 no. Too far, Bubba. It is a little far, right? Come on. It's an hour. Um, <laughs> but Brea Improv, 10, 24, 25, and 26. Get your Jay tickets has now. Jay has it on there, dude. Yes, he does. I'll so we're probably going to have to cancel the Ice House. Um, when we do it, though, we'll, we'll reschedule. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm in Denver, hometown, oh, tomorrow nice. night. Thursday, I think, is sold out. Saturday, early show is sold out. Two shows Friday, late show Saturday. Get your tickets. TFATK.com. You doing three shows? Uh on when one night in Denver? No, no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Man, you guys are living the dream. Um, <laughs> next week I'm in Pittsburgh. Those shows are almost sold out. Pittsburgh Improv. That is October third through the fifth, and then the uh, October seventeenth through the nineteenth. I'm in Philly. Also, all those dates that I posted the the UK, Ireland, uh, Sweden, Stockholm, uh, a- Amsterdam. All tickets are available uh, this Friday. This Friday, you don't need to do pre-sale anymore. This Friday, all those tickets are available. And I'm at the Wilbur in Boston in nice. January. Get your tickets, tvk.com. Mark, you're the best. Praise the Lord. Lord. Norman. Little Thanks for over. having me. Little gay. A real comic. Queef, anal jizz. <laughs> this is my <laughs> kid. We're out. All right. What an app. Good app. That was great. Man. That was great. Awesome man. app.